this button, push this button, and then hit this button, and we should hopefully uh, be live. So let's just double check that that is actually the case. See if it comes up on this here. Button, push this oh yeah, button, sounds like it's and live. Hit this button. Yeah, perfect. All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. We can minimise this stuff. I can put that there. I do do do. The joys of setup, say. Eh? Right, that's gonna go there. You can see, all right, Greg. Yep, yep. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just putting this link out. That's all right. Well, while we're doing that, I've got the I've got the stream running. People can see me. Lovely, lovely. There we go. It's all muted on my end. All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my first time of playing Dark Souls Remastered. There is kind of a reason why I'm doing this, which I'll get to in a minute. I'm joined by the one and only Egregious, who is essentially going to backseat the shit out of me, I imagine. <laughs> Tonight, how are you doing, buddy? Yeah, good, good, good. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I'm just basically, I'm going to be not overbearing. I'm not going to tell you where to go or what to do. But, you know, when tips are needed with little bits of pushing in the right direction, encouragement, what have you, I'll be there to offer it. I've played through Dark Souls 1 and 2 and Bloodborne, and um, I, I haven't finished Sekiro, Elden Ring, and Dark Souls 3. Yeah. Do you have a lot of experience with these games? Um, yeah. What have I done here? Uh, I'll do that differently. Um, yeah, so... Just a few things to get out of the way before we start. What, firstly, you can see it says continue on the on the title screen. I did boot the game up to just make sure the controls were right, uh, visuals, stuff like that. I may have to do some stuff on the fly if it, the game's a bit too loud. But just to make a point of it, no, I haven't played the game. <laughs> it's literally started it. Um, secondly, I do kind of know the beginning part, which is the asylum. I've seen it plenty of times, so I kind of know where I'm going to start with and how, the, how to do the first boss, all this other stuff, uh, which is going to make it look like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. <laughs> um, and uh, lastly, if you don't know, like I'm quite, I've always been kind of like, res I've always kind of respected, uh, respect these games, but I've never really been the one to play them. And so, you know, I'm going in with a fresh, fresh opinion, fresh mind. I want to see, you know, where I get to, and. Um, yeah, kind of go from there, really, because I don't want to constantly be pestered by people saying you haven't played the game. You shouldn't talk about it. So <laughs> I want to, I want to change, I want to change that uh, as best as I can tonight. So um, this is so that you can shit all over the game in the future. <laughs> no, no, not at all, not at all. I was, the one thing I will say though, on the Switch, the B button, which is normally the back button, is actually the OK one of this. It keeps throwing me off. I'm like, weird. All right. So except for this screen where it is actually uh, your name should be Levington Levington, oh okay we'll go with Levington <laughs> we'll do that hey so I have a question for you what Sir Levington you... Sir Levington, okay what do you think is the best class because I was looking at warrior or knight but I don't know if that's the best class to go with I don't remember like the stats of them we can look in a second um, if I remember correctly like it's 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 about stats, but it's also about starting equipment. Right. And I know the knight, pro, like, knight starts out with good armor. Yeah. Um, pr it'll probably be knight. I think warrior starts with an axe or something. But so, let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. You see that all right? Yep. Yeah, so that's what weapon expert, high strength, dexterity. That's a warrior. Um, knight. We've got low ranking knight, high HP, solid armor, not easily toppled. So I assume not easily toppled means you won't get put on your ass. I don't actually know. Um, um, go back up to warrior. Okay. Interesting. So knight has a few more stats put into uh, faith and yeah. attunement, which are kind of you won't be needing at all. Yeah. Um, so warrior, I actually can't remember what attunement is, but I think it's what is attunement? Uh, it's got to do with magic, right? Attunement I slots. I, I, I can look, but not yeah, yeah, yeah. It's can. yeah, it's it's basically how many spells you can have equipped at a time. So knight has a few. If you're planning on going pure no magic, yeah. knight has some wasted stats. All right, so you're saying um, warrior is a better shout. Get back up. Let's see what warrior has got in terms of um, equipment. Uh, okay. Tells you where 
I'm, it, it seems to just um, show it as a picture. Um, and then endurance. I'm trying to remember, like, stats are different from game right, to game so to game. Vitality is definitely I mean, health. Uh, endurance. What is equip load? This is what I'm looking at. Dark Souls equip. Is increased by endurance, yeah. So endurance is your stamina bar, but it's also your equip load. Yeah. Um, so you will be wanting endurance. Yeah. Um, but ba I, either will work, but probably warrior. Yeah, I think I was gonna go a warrior anyway. I think light might be a bit heavier because I don't want to be too, too heavy. But yeah, you can get to learn with like the faster roll. Um, I actually, in Elden Ring, I've gone with like super light armor and I'm playing the sort of Jedi style where I just have a, a high, what's the word? I, I have lots of iframes rather than damage reduction and that actually better if you know the dodges. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, you know, I'm not gonna go for all these because I know that it was gonna be one of these two. So I'm gonna pick Warrior. Um, yeah. What we got here? HP? Sounds like I'm probably going to need that. Uh, Firebomb is the thing you chuck, isn't it? And you expose one impact. Yeah, it's like a... It's like to do throw. Twin humanities. Binoculars. I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> now, I've been told Master Key is the one to take, but I also know that Master Key is... kind of can change the routes you can take in the game. Maybe I won't take that because I don't want to... Um, I want a more first impressions experience rather than backdooring a lot of places. So. Yeah. Uh, small increase to HP, that sounds like me. Let's go with that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make my dude a slim dude. Face, hair, colour, don't care. I think I'm just going to ignore most of that. Uh, it says... Can I? Uh, okay, I, I really so let's go. Uh, the other thing is, I'm probably just gonna skip the cutscenes because you're not here to watch the story, are you? You're here to watch me fail. So. Oh come on! At least there's like two cutscenes in right. Dark Souls: the first and the last. All right, you I'll gotta, you gotta. Ancients. I'll play the cutscenes. The I haven't seen them in fall. freaking ages. <laughs> none of them make any fucking sense, and they're all weird as fuck. So that's that's kind of half of fun. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. this this one actually explains the sort of origin of the dragon. the world. Yeah. So it's actually quite a, a fun one. It's a big dragon, fucking hell. I haven't seen it in years. So. But then there was fire, <laughs> and with fire came. You need to go back and finish Dark Souls Three. I hear that's probably like one of the better ones to start with now if people were getting into it because it's Life it does a few little things that make it a bit more palatable, should we and say, as some of maybe the outdated mechanics in this game. Yeah, I, I had some problems with like shit happening that I, I couldn't undo or really understand without reading a guide. From the dark, um, that's always been my biggest problem with Dark Souls, and they've kind of gotten. Like, Dark Souls 3 is one of the worst offenders, where, um, shit happens where if you don't know, if you're not following your guide exactly, characters will die and shit gets locked off forever. It's one of the worst games from Missables ever. Yeah, Whereas Dark Souls 1, I think, is actually not bad at all in that respect. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a few people the that can die. Of Isaac, <laughs> um, and her daughters of Chaos. Yeah, I know you can Dark Souls 2 is very Queen, forgiving in that respect. Lord of yeah. Sunlight and his faithful Compare, Compared to the other Dark Souls games, compared to a usual game, not at all. And yeah, yeah. the furtive pygmy, you know you pretty much kill so easily NPCs. forgotten. <laughs> so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I refuse to use a guide playing this, so if I do something dumb... With the strength of lords. Lords. Yeah, I, I have to disagree dragons. with uh, Fruity. Fruity is like... He's a guy. I'm like, no. Because me, me and Fruity are like both 100% gods. Love these games. But I disagree with him on that. Yeah, I, I, I do think I'm not to start an argument off of that. But when someone says, hey, you're going to play this game today with a guy, that's really off putting to me. Like, I feel like I should be able to jump in and have some sort of Dragons. Yeah, I, I, I definitely agree for the most part. Um, 
Al although there, there are games where I understand it kind of does just make it better. I like, get it. Um, I get it. Yeah. Like, you're, you're right. Like, Thus there are some, some games that are designed like that, but fire. I don't like the idea of playing a game for the first time and having like everything. Like, you should do this thing. This but is your build. It's like, I'd rather get stuck, fade. like really stuck, and then and maybe look up and die. Will remain. There are parts of Total Warhammer that still piss me off with that. It's like we're on game three and there's still tooltips that don't explain what the fuck a thing does. <laughs> I, I really do not think that companies should rely on wikis and YouTubers to explain the mechanics of their games. No, no. Or, uh, there's nothing wrong with having a good tutorial system, you know? Like, especially something like Total Warhammer, which is, you know, for the average person, it's going to be quite a complex game. Maybe not to you, somebody who's played the other games, but if you were jumping in for the first time, there is a lot there. Well, for example, there's one thing I bitch about, which is, like, you build buildings that increase your army's replenishment, and it just says, increases replenishment by 2%. And it's like, in this region? In the province? <laughs> I know it's in the province, but it doesn't say... Yeah. And I have to look I have to look that up and remind myself and it's like we're on game three. How fucking hard is it to just type in brackets this province? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, yes, so, indeed. So dark on my screen. This the is dark really sign brands the undead. Dark up. sign. Totally not the curse brand from Berserk. Oh. And in this land. This game, and, and a lot of, um... The undead are corralled and the, the, the name of him has, has lost me now. Um, it, it, a lot of his games are just just big, big ups to Berserk. Oh, me Where they are locked away. Yeah. R.I.P. Kentaro Mira represent. Rip. That's the, the creator of Berserk who yeah. died last year. Yeah. This is your fate. Yeah, it's just super, super good. People these days, creators are all afraid of being too edgy because, you know, edgy is cringe, but Kentaro Miura is just like, my guy is seven foot tall. <laughs> um, he, he was born from the corpse of his mother who was hanged in a tree. <laughs> he has a sword that's six foot tall. And... This is my main character, and every, all the girls want to fuck him. Because just deal with it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I love it. Hello, Jack. How's it going, buddy? Uh, Alright, it's not actually as dark as I thought it was, which is good. Um, also, I, I should point out this is the Switch Who's version. that? Mysterious oh. man. Who I've played this game at least twice, and I actually don't fucking know at all. I don't... <laughs> uh, dark Souls Story. Yeah. Oh, Alright. Okie dokie. Let's, uh. Not seeing the chat. Yeah. Jack's, Jack's hanging out in the chat. He's come to watch oh, me no. fail. So. Alright, this is, uh. Ooh, lovely. Lovely bit of lighting. Camera control. Well, I found that one already. <laughs> Attack. With my. Broken. S controls, as everyone knows, RB for attack is oh, man, just I, makes perfect sense. I hate, I, I gen, like the back trigger, like <laughs> fair enough. This one, like the bumper for attack, feels so wrong. I was like, why? Oh look, a dude. Sorry guys. As, as everyone in the audience already knows, you know, having the bumper buttons for attack frees up your thumb for moving the camera. So it's all right when you got a lock on. You don't need to. Noise. Hello. You're really ugly. <laughs> Strong attack. Ugh. Probably an, a friendly NPC. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? How the fuck did I miss? Yo! Hey. There we go. He was just standing there. I know. Fuck him. Hold this, uh, the button. Yeah, the fuck dash. him. Hey, we can run now. What? I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> just walk. What do you mean you don't know how to feel, you don't know how to feel about holding down to run or what? <laughs> Target lock. Uh, well, you know. You don't want to just run into any old enemy here. 
Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You probably do want to sort of generally not run in this game. Unless you're running from something. Yeah, uh, let me just knock the brightness up a little bit. It's just really fucking dark to me. Uh, that'll do. Brighter. Probably not how you meant to play the game. I just can't see shit. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're playing Bright Soul. So when we, <laughs> when we get outside, we find. So just for context, I'm literally looking at my PC monitor, and I'm looking at X Split. So I haven't got a TV I'm plugging, which I normally we have. So I'm just going off. Oh yeah, what's got to close this? Ah, buttons. There we go. So I want to be able to just at least get out the first area and see what I'm doing, but if it gets really Don't wait bright... for the first moment where you're looking through the menu and something attacks you. Oh, that's going to happen. One of the great things about Dark Souls. I mean, I killed the first two Pause. enemies without dying, right? I, I take that as a win. Yeah, we, this is actually a no-death speedrun going <laughs> no on right now. No-death speedrun? Fuck off. <laughs> You're, you're on no deaths! But it's not a speed no run. death, any percentage. Oh, I can punch people. Aha, look at that, I can whip them to the face, I'm a backhand. That's a parry. That's a parry, is it? Yeah. All right. LT, or whatever the equivalent on the Switch controller, is generally parry. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it's always parry in this game. In some other games, you can change it to other things, but I think it's always parry. Surprise, I know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, apologies. Like I said, I don't, I don't know this first area. I've seen Not so fighting him. So. Gotta keep up the no deaths. Yeah, exactly. We gotta keep that no deaths going. Get your shield. Ow, got me bastard! <laughs> Eat a shield. Hey. Uh, Have a shield. Uh, da -da. Uh, all right. Yep, done that. One step ahead of you, game. Left the guard. Fine. Um, also, I point out, I turned the game to offline mode. I didn't want to have to deal with invasions and shit for my first playthrough. I was like, nah. Come at me, but where are you? I've honestly done that with Elden Ring as well. And, and for me, it's the amount of messages that just get, like, disruptive and, like, distracting. Yeah. Where's this guy gone? I think it's easier with messages on because they'll tell you where everything is, but I actually don't like that. Yeah, I just didn't want to have to. I know there's like fake invasions in the game, but I didn't want to have to. Okay, so we've got a nice long sword here. That sounds nice. Bing! I can't actually hear the sound from the game because I'm just watching you, but. Oh, can you not? That's really unfortunate. <laughs> It's fine, you know, I don't, I don't need to hear the sound to know what's going on. Well, he died like a bitch. Zero out of ten. Easy game. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to play through this and discover, like, Dark Souls is really not as hard as people hype it up no, to be. So Especially the first one. I know a lot of it comes down to just... A lot of it is pattern recognition. Let's call it what it is. It's pattern recognition, right? With boss fights. You just learn what they do and you take your chances. You don't get greedy. Yeah. Backstep. The roll. Which, uh, luckily, I don't have a fat roll. So that's good. So I can just dodge out of the way of things. I think what differs from Dark Souls from other kind of, ooh, you've got to have a smooth experience for the gamer kind of games is... That it's it's not afraid to it's not about like the moment to moment difficulty. It's not about like this boss is really hard to beat necessarily. It's about that it's not afraid to do sadistic stuff to the player and be quote unquote unfair. Yeah. You know? 
It's not afraid to just like, you know, roll a boulder down the first set of stairs you encounter in the game because fuck you, for instance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I was looking, before you started the stream and explained that you've seen this part. I was looking forward to watching you get twatted by that. I boulder, know. I saw a lot of people were, but like I said, like once holding we, back the mirth. Once, for... once we get to yeah. the outside area, it will become clear that I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you. Hello. You're no hollow. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness. I'm done for. I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my Can't die, you're undead. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. How could you die you if you're undead? You. He, well, he can die, Regrettably, but he'll come back. What he's saying is he's going to lose his sanity. Oh, okay. There is an old saying in my family. Because, like, here's the thing. You can die as an undead and, and not and lose your sanity necessarily, but it's all down to your force of will. To the land yeah. of ancient lords. When thou ringest this is what I love about Dark Souls. Going hollow is, you know, very much an analogy for I'm I'm sick of this shit. I don't want to. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. One more thing. Here, take this. What are you giving me, bud? An Estus flask. Oh, probably the most important item in the game. Yeah. Five. Oh, and this. Hey. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate oh, and thank shit. you. Whoops. You know, it really is a shame that you had to die. Quick death, quick death. A bit of crouching action, and teabagging. But how do you crouch, is it? I think it's B. The right, the right face button is gone. Uh, He's already me. gone. It's not letting me. It's not letting me do it. I don't know what, or is it like the, the lower button? X is double hammer. Oh, in this game? Yeah, well, let me do it. Why can't Dark Souls crouch? Can't. Yeah, I don't know whether I should let that guy live, but I was like, fuck him. It doesn't dying. make a difference. He said he was dying. You know, yeah, he, if you come back after a death, he's gone. Yeah. Well, oh, good to know. Oh. Yeah, Dark Souls can't crouch. <gasps> I mean, is that something they added in Elden Ring? Is that, I've heard people saying even in Dark Souls 3. Because I was like, I swear you just press the dodge button without pressing a direction and you crouch. But maybe I'm thinking of another game. It's been a while since I've played one other than Elden Ring. You're really, like, I, this took me several tries to get through. I was dead. I mean, you've, you've seen it before, so. Yeah, I mean, it literally is just seeing it, right? Like, I just from memory. Yeah. Like, when I mean I've seen this bit a lot of times, I've seen this bit a lot of times. Yeah, you're doing well, though. You're doing well. Behind an enemy, crit. Okay. It's just about getting the distance angle right and not being noticed. Is the hardest part. Oh, yeah, I can lock on. He's healing! <laughs> yeah, they heal too. Breaking sure his man. Estus like a bitch. Yeah, that's what I think he. I think... It's locked! Uh, I love Fractal. Yeah, half a Kenji. Alright. Now the real game begins. Yeah. No death speed run. That plunging oh, attack. Yeah! I thought I missed it. I was like, oh no. Third of his health. Greedy! Really? And lock on with the right trigger. Oh, yeah, right stick. I always forget about that. 
<laughs> that jiggly ass. Oh, oh. Ah, it's got jiggle physics. So One big the oh, I missed! Right, look for an opportunity to, to drink an Estus. Man, don't need no Estus, let's go. Oh, I did not mean to do Fair free enough. hits. I did not mean to do free hits. Brethren, you were gonna soar through the dark souls. That was right, so now, that not a shameful display. Now the game starts. Now I've got no fucking clue what I'm doing. I I've never gotten through it that fast. Well, I'm not. Well, maybe I have. Maybe on the second run I did. I. I. I on no... my second run, I dedicated myself to a dagger-only playthrough. Oh, you're nuts. <laughs> You're a nutski. Dude, the, the gargoyles were fucking hard with a dagger. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I can only imagine. I don't know. It doesn't work in Dark Souls. It's not a thing. Dark, daggers in Dark Souls is not a thing. I hear both. But I was like, I, I want to play my rogue. Yeah. It's like, no, you, no you, you don't. You don't. I hear bows are a bit shit in this game as well. Uh, respect from this screen. He's only gone it down the first pass. <laughs> yeah. Only. Yeah. The but the, the game starts now, Jack. Like, the game starts now. This is where all the real shit. One day an undead I would love to get to the dark areas tonight, but at this point onwards is uh, anyone's game. To leave the undead asylum. In pilgrimage. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to get to the no. gargoyles tonight, but if you do, I'll be very the impressed. Land of the ancient lords. <laughs> you and me both. You and me both. So yeah, I know that from Lord the Firelink Ray. Shrine, you have to head to the end of Berg. Right, that's about all I know now. Like, it's just finding that the right way to go. Um, and then yeah, after that, like, <laughs> anyone's guess. I will say I am really not a fan of the standard attack being on this pump, but the back at the back the strong attack being on trigger, not so bad, but this definitely feels really alien to me. But we're gonna work with it. Level up unlocked. Yay, alright. What have we got? We've got a cat scene from the faces of the Ah! Wrong one. <laughs> So really here, you've got three choices. Yeah. You've got health, stamina bar, or attack damage. So... Health's always a safe choice. Health is a on. safe choice, but let's be honest, I'm going to die a lot, right? So no, even if I have a small increase of health, I'm still going to die a lot. So it's either, I would think, either in, uh, stamina, or damage. And I think stamina might be better if I'm going to be using the shield um, to start with. Because I feel like I'm going to walk up to a lot of enemies, put my shield up and see what happens. But... I don't know. So, so... Oh, here we go. Ah! That was the wrong button. Which button is it? Sir? Ah, there we you go. get for playing Dark Souls on the Wii. Dark Souls on the Wii. <laughs> Uh, health, tumor slots, and all that. Stamina, equipment, no resistance. You can't see on screen, but he's actually swinging the Wiimote to do all the slashes. Yeah, oh my god, could you imagine? So dexterity and strength are like boost attack, but I guess it's different types of resistance. Yeah, there are certain weapons like the long sword you're using now which draw from strength and dexterity, so either one will boost your attack by an equal amount with your no, current what? weapon. We'll play it safe and go with health. We'll pop the health right up. Safe choice, and you know you'll never, you'll never not need health. Later on, you'll need a lot of health. Cancel. Me? Oh. Pressing the wrong button. I know. Uh, a and B are the other way around. This game is so weird to me. All right. I think that must be just on the Switch version. I think it is because A and B normally. Fine, but that's okay. No idea why they made that choice, but. Who are you? Well, 
What do we have here? Oh, hello. You must be a new arrival. Let Ooh. me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. Ten Estes flat. You'd have that done better like to rot in the undead asylum. Huh. Too late now. Yeah, when the uh, fuck did you get well, ten Estus flasks? Here, let me have it's probably five. a Switch version there thing. Yeah. Actually, that's, that seems like a two lot to me. Bells on. of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other oh, is far, Town. Oh, far fucking hell. below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. I think on the Switch version as well, you've got like a, if you get a second controller on the Wii mote, you've got a little star thing on screen. You can have Luma come on and help you out by picking up all the um the souls. It is yeah, that does game, seem like that would it? be the right. Uh, if you wave the the wand around, you can pick up souls. <laughs> you can just sort of take out enemies. There's a like if you die, then there's like a super mode where you can just walk through as invincible. Yeah, that, that sounds right. That sounds right. Very Nintendo. Uh. Oh, I can reinforce my Estus flask there. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what that does, but... This seems bloody precarious. Why did I choose to come down here? Take that. Well, this is clearly the wrong way. <laughs> I know this is the wrong way. The, no, it's, it's roll with it. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. What? The fuck is this? <laughs> Most games are like, oh, you can't go that way yet. We have to go down the funnel ah! route. Everything has to be smooth. Oh, all right. <laughs> Dark Souls is like, you want to go this way? Fine, yeah, whatever. You go wherever the way you want, man. There's a lot of growling going on. He seems well. He seems dead to me. Your soul is. Well, now, dead. yeah, because you murdered him. On the ruins. New long Ah! Get, get wrecked, son. Hello. Three souls. These guys aren't even fighting back. I was molded by the undead. You merely adopted it. This guy is loving it. Wait, hang on. You just okay. fucked his dad. Oh. He's gonna attack you with that twig. I was gonna kick him off the edge. <laughs> 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 uh, I fucked up the bug of his, uh, that in it. Uh. I don't think I should be here. It feels weird and spooky. I mean, who dictates where you should and shouldn't be at any given time? This is true. Miyazaki? No. He's not He's not telling you shit. He's not telling you not to be here, otherwise we, he would have blocked it off like every other game developer. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I got a parry, haven't I? I should probably try that. Is it the normal attack button to do that? You literally got the parry right on your first try. Well, <laughs> purely accidental. I'm not beginner's luck. How do you this guy's gonna smash Dark. I'm telling you, no death speed run any percent. The problem is my face is in the way of the uh, souls account. There we go. Let's put it just a bit above. So not a lot of souls, but that's okay. I think you, you prick. Oh! Wow, my 
stamina goes up really quickly. Quite like that. What are these people doing down here anyway? Just hanging out, having a good time. Yeah. The, the problem some new players have with stamina... <laughs> I, I say this having watched... Um, the, the best friends playthrough with Pat and Wooly. The the fucking catchphrase for that playthrough was was Pat in the background watching Wooly play and going, Wooly, drop your shield. Wooly, drop your shield. Because oh, yeah. his stamina wasn't regenerating. Your stamina doesn't regenerate nearly as fast oh. when you put your shield up. But you have not ha had that problem at all so far. <laughs> well. You're a natural. Let's wait until I get into a fight. What did I just pick up? I think it's more of like a nervous impulse when, when you're like scared of what the game is throwing at you. It becomes an instinct to just like the, the safety is behind the shield, but it can also kill you by depleting your stamina. Kind of confused. This sword doesn't seem as good. Sir Levington is not cowed. Sir Levington's going all fucking out. <laughs> Sir Levington's going to walk right to the final boss and win. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take all my armor off. Just, just my sword. I've got a feeling I can't go in the water, so let's maybe not. Uh, <laughs> You're very close to the edge there, so yeah. oh, that's dark. Uh... Hey! Someone has to do it! <laughs> Transient curse. Oh yeah, fuck this, right, we're not going <laughs> I literally looked at one look at that and I'm like, yeah, that's that's gonna go badly. I don't You're actually good instinct, don't you? Uh it's really, really dark. The, I know that I, I'm pretty confident if I fall in the water I'm gonna die. That bridge is about the same size as my arm. Uh, mm, I don't remember no this deaths area. Yet. I don't remember this area no at yet. all. What are we in? We're uh, 30, 30 minutes in. Not yet, but let's let's go. What I think is the right way, not this way. <laughs> uh, this is Sparta. Yeah, that was very much that. <laughs> yeah, see, this is much nicer. Let's just stay here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. Souls. I don't know how much 400 souls is at the beginning of the game. It could be fucked really, but... Uh, you can check on your status screen how much you need for the next level up. Oh, okay. Cool. I think for you it was like somewhere like a thousand. That's Because you did level up three times already. Yeah, yeah. Look. Now, here's the question. Can I go in here? <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, let's have a look around this area because I feel like... Yeah. yeah. You have a feeling already, so yeah, that's the way you go. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Like I know, like I said, it is kind of weird playing this game because I've seen a bit, quite a bit of it. I don't know like the full ins and outs. So I couldn't just like play through the game. But, like you know, get out. Seven, seven, seven for the next level up. I think it is. Okay, cool. Well, at least somebody was watching. Thanks, Jack. Oh no, we're alright. Oh. Alright, let's, let's stop wasting time and actually go in the direction. Let's pick a direction. Let's go for this way. Because, you know, stairs and a cliff, what could possibly go wrong? Can you go down? Alright, what have we... I don't... He's got a shield and an actual weapon. Do the running attack. Oh no, let's let's try and be really cool. Oh I missed oh. it. Oh no! Fucked it up. So he's got a slow overhead swing. So I know these guys overhead swing and then they also have a fast attack. So let's try and keep that in mind that these guys do that. Ow! Ah! 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 <laughs> what the fuck? 
Okay. And now you're introduced to the, the key design concept of Dark Souls, which is not about like mechanical difficulty, it's just a bit about like that wasn't fair. Right? They're not playing fair. And you shouldn't either. This guy's a terrible shot. Alright, so we know that did quite a lot of damage, so this is whoops, this is probably a time to drink. Let's not let's not get let's not get too cocky. This reminds me of a bit in Crash Bandicoot. Bastard. Oh, there's two of them. Right. Ah. He was waiting for you to come oh. up to attack him before coming out. Yeah. Okay, so I want that soul or that item, but I'm not stupid enough to do it until I've killed this guy. <laughs> so let's, That is uh, smart. Let's, yeah, that's um, a trap. So those coins in Mario that they put right below the oh, cutoff. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. But can you jump up, can you jump down to this pit and also jump back up? Come on, you can get those coins. <laughs> yeah. That's what that is. I fucking hate those because I always try to get them and it's like, well, back to a checkpoint. See, now I'm already starting to see the dilemma, right? So I'm like, oh, I've got quite a few souls. I should probably deposit those. But I do said that. That's enough for a level up. All the enemies come back. Not all of them, I guess. Yep. Most of them. Uh, I know you can jump. Do you know how to run and jump? It's really annoying in this game, the input oh, for it. So it's run and then tap A again. I've just literally figured yeah. that out on the fly. That was complete guess. Like, I was just like, is it this? Yeah, and in the other games, they let you change it to bizarrely enough, run with the usual button and then click down the left stick, which is not much better, but it's better. Do I want my first death to be before down a hole? Because that'd be pretty disappointing if my first death were. I'd rather die in combat. I mean, you've got a level up ready if you want. You you twisted my arm here, Greg. I'm gonna have to go and do it. I don't want to uh, get. I, I don't. I forced you into it. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that guy. But at the end of the day, I'll take any advantage I can get. <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's the way to go. You want to bank those level ups. Yeah. Um, we've got vitality. Let's do some. If we go higher strength. I could one shot things quicker. Potentially. There's always that. Um, more endurance. I. Do you know what? I feel like it's not about how strong my attacks are it will just be about like how much i can attack like yeah, how many you can do in a row yeah i feel like having really high endurance just means like i've got more opportunities to block and things like that so i think i'm gonna go with endurance see being a purely non-magic build makes things much simpler as far as leveling up um in the beginning because you don't have to make those tough choices of like trying to hit almost every stat and when do you put things where it's it's just a lot easier to go no magic for your first yeah, time no, and then if you want you can you can dabble into magic you go okay they're, they're, now there's magic available maybe maybe i'll just dip my toes into the water of magic yeah there's definitely that oh look at this boy he's got moves oh and he's come down what are you doing, pal? Oh, oh shit, he's got... He's got the moves. I kind of need to get this guy's attention. Really. Come on. Ooh, that makes it difficult, doesn't it? Ah, fuck him. Let's go up. He's dragging the guy with me. Should please let me... Oh. Oh, he can't even set his mate on fire. That sucks. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing in some games. Or maybe he it just wasn't in the initial radius. Sucker boots. I should get like double souls for parrying and then killing someone. Get half souls for parrying. Ow, my face! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh. <laughs> um. Uh. 
No death. <laughs> that was deliberate. That, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I was. Uh, no, no, Levi's being humble. That was deliberate. Not, no chance, mate. No chance. Um, question: If you pick up items like I have now, if you die, do you lose that stuff, or is it just the souls? No. Because okay. uh, I don't know. Jump. <laughs> um, right, what am I doing? Uh, where's the ring slot? Oh. So that's the. Lose nothing upon death, but ring breaks. So that's a one and done item then. That's like if you die in a hard area, you won't lose anything. Yeah, let's not use that. Yeah, now. if you're going through a real shit area and you're like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have come here. I can't get back out. And I've got like 15,000 souls. You can slap that bad boy on. And then if you die, you keep those souls and you can bank them because you'll reappear at the bonfire. Yeah. All right, cool. Good to know. Good to know. So here's a big boy. My problem is that I've accidentally, like, left them equipped and then lost them even after banking my souls. Because I just fucking forget. <laughs> oh, Jack, that's, Jack's like lucky mofo. Yeah, yeah, that was complete fluke. That was complete luck, me not dying there. Yeah, I know what you mean. You don't want to, like, keep it equipped and then be like, oh, shit, I should have saved that. Dark Souls is actually easy. Well, it's only easy... See, if, you... if an... If an idiot like me can fucking finish Dark Souls, Levi, you'll ace it because you're like legitimately just better at, than me at like action input games. Well, I mean, you gotta bear in mind, I am I'm trying to take my time here. Like, I think maybe if I played this when it first came out or something, that might be like getting ass handed to me. But like, I'm like, I know I need to be patient. Otherwise, you saw what happened. I got a fucking fire in the face and then rolled off and almost died. So it's like. That might be my problem with these games, is that I am not patient. Yeah, and I get it, like, you know, I mean, the game makes you feel badass, I can definitely see the appeal of that. Does it? Well, so far. <laughs> <That's the> <laughs> yes, this is the Switch version of it. Um, I just, it's easier for me to run stuff through my capture card and stream smoother. Like, I can do stuff on my PC, but I think, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to, if I could buy it on PC, but I just don't think the stream would be as good. So, yes, unfortunately, we are running at 30 frames a second, which I do think makes a big difference in this game. See, this is always the issue I've had where I see a lot of stuff like this in Dark Souls, where, like, here's a doorway, and obviously I know I can go to the right. But, like, I've seen it too many times in these games where you go around to the right and you get walloped by something, and I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure I feel about that. It took me five games to learn that. Yeah. It's just. Like, Elden Ring, I'm turning the camera before every corner. And I see so many of them, and I'm like, ah, you motherfucker, you're not getting me. But it took me too many games to learn <laughs> that. That's just part of it, I guess. Right, I gotta. What? To be honest, I laugh like fuck when I get hit by things like that. Yeah, I, I laugh like fuck when I get what I call Miyazaki moments. Yeah. What do these do? Oh, whoops. That's <laughs> the wrong fucking button and buried him. For God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> See, this this guy is like, oh, I accidentally parried this jumping attack. When I when I legitimately told you about it, I had issues with the controls, right? I wasn't joking. and to, That's my point, right? I got lucky in the sense that I parried him. But, like... To me, having like, I don't know, I, I think for me I'd have Y and X as my weak and strong attack and probably have like the shield buttons on the opposite trigger for my right hand. But I'm not going to change the controls because like, I'm committed. I'm committed to like understand. I want to understand why people like the controls. Here's the interesting thing I think is that like there are games other than Dark Souls that would benefit way more from leaving your thumb free to control the camera. Dark Souls isn't that action heavy of a game. Yeah. So it's odd that other games haven't picked up on it. Or a lot of other games haven't. Because I genuinely think it would really fit a lot of games. Around. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm literally thinking right now, I was like, actually, I remember when Mark was talking about this when he played it and he was like, 
it, but I was like, Pro tip, you can just roll to destroy barrels. Oh, okay. Cool. It's actually hella fun. Oh, yeah. Oh. Be up here. Let me in. Okay, that's back to the invisible wall. No problem. It's not. It's just a weird, tricky jump. No, it's not. I think you might have to sort of get back a bit to get up there, or you might not be able to get up from here. It's, in one of those it's not an invisible wall, but yeah, I no, don't. Okay. I guess you can't get up there. Yeah, no problemo. I don't want to. I gotta be honest. I don't want to waste people's time. What I'm, I'm waiting for it. People want to see me die, like so. I don't want to spend time trying to figure out. Something like that. sound pretty nice yeah it's very satisfying <laughs> the destructive role and that's in like every game it gets kind of silly with some of them like this box looks very sturdy but just like lightly rolling into it destroys everything I genuinely just do not want to die by falling off a cliff, right? Because that to me is like really depressing. I want to actually like... <laughs> Could you keep the noise down please? I'm trying to kill people here. Alright, what are we looking for? Oh. Just looking keeping you on your toes, that's oh, all. Oh Jesus! He's landed on the head. Oh, okay. One. Two. Probably use the lock on more. That's my downfall right now. Who's gonna swing first? Me, bitch. Okay. It's definitely hard to hit with your current heavy attack without a lock on. Yeah, Because it's a sure. straight stab. So we've got an archer. I can see at least one dude. So, okay. so maybe the smart thing to do here is to. Oh dear. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's go this door. A wooden shield. Right, we'll stand behind this door. I feel like I'm safe here. <laughs> he says. I don't think this game ever makes you feel <laughs> safe. Um, right. Let's have a look at this wooden shield. Uh, it's actually worse. It doesn't weigh as much. Yeah. I'll stick with what I got. I feel like it's doing me well. Stick to what I know, right? Yeah, I mean, that would be your first shield if you didn't start with one. It'd be like Ori, for me, it was, it was hard for the USB to get. Yeah, me and Jack uh, were playing Oz, Ori in the uh, Blind Forest, and he was like, oh man, this game is really hard, but because it's like a platformer, I was like, nah, this is my jam. Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> ah! Right. We're now out of the menu mode. You know what? Wow. That was, uh. Ow, my face. Oops. Right, there we go. Now hit. Oh, there's some dudes over there. Let's go get them. Put this crossbow bolt stuck to my forehead. We kill those dudes over there. Will we finally be free? Oh, this guy's got a lance. Okay. What are you, what are you, what are you selling, buddy? Alright. He's doing a little dance. You know what? I don't like my chances. Uh. I feel like this is either a parry or get behind two of them. Come on then. This guy's a pro. Yeah. Well, attack first. Oops, do that. Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Okay, so this is, this is a parry, the dude. Right, okay. 
Oh, don't do that. Don't auto switch. That's not good. Oh, wait. No, I got a shit. If you move the right stick, then that's how you move the lock on. Ah, okay. Two of them. That's. Uh, I'm like. Mm. It's a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Oh shit. Dude here. Okay. No, don't kick him. The game keeps playing all these noises and it's throwing me off. Seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Oh my god, then you are a welcome thing. customer. I, I trade for souls, <laughs> everything's for sale. <laughs> so what have you got? <sighs> Prevents Estus recovery within it. Prevents Estus recovery within a limited area. What does that mean? I completely forgot this game has durability on weapons. I guess it. Lloyd's Talisman, some enemies use Estus. Probably more of a dual thing. Oh, I see. Prevents enemy. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Roaring's Guidance, I'm saying. Um, you don't have anything I want, or at least nothing I need, know that I need I want. <sighs> what a waste of time. There were other tabs, I oh, believe, that you kid. didn't look oh, at. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. Oh, you again. I hope you brought. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, right. opens residence in the underberg. That could be useful. Bottomless box, box allowing inventory management and bonfire. Oh. I, I've got, to, I've got to stop the urge to stab this guy. Right, I want to stab him with my sword, but maybe that's not for the best. <laughs> this is friendly merchant. Yeah, well, ooh, a scimitar. Of the swords. They've got curved swords. Sweet. To Sky you wouldn't get that because it's a Skyrim reference. <laughs> another game I have not played. Yeah, another classic game. You fuck, that's that's the next one. Uh, that or um, Mass Effect will be the next one. I haven't played Mass Ooh, Effect. So, classic yeah. games all. Oh, 300, 300. See, now if I was to use my souls here, right? Yes, I can't level up, but I wouldn't lose 1,000. I mean, 1,000 souls late game is going to be peanuts, but um, I can't remember what I'm wearing and it, what my limit is. So what I should do... Shut Throw up. me a bone, will you? Will you, you shut, haven't got your, much... shut your trap. Uh, let's have a look at what my equipment is. What am I currently wearing? I've got standard helmet, hard leather armor. So there's a lot of leather stuff. So... Um, Strength, I guess. Is there a place that tells you. Never mind. The damage. It. If you go in, then it will show you. Oh no! It's more each piece's physical defense. It was more physical strength because you have to have a certain amount of strength, don't you, to wield certain things in it? Is that right? I believe it. No. Um, it's all based on equip load. Right. Heavier items use more of your equip load, yeah. and all that affects is your rolling. Yeah. Okay, so I've got 21.4 out of 53. Okay. Well, I don't look like I'm wearing it. I remind myself how the roll works. Flat roll. Or rather, the equip load ratios. I hope you. So that's one of those things the game just never explains yeah. to you, and you have to look up on a wiki. 
I think down for getting like some different armor. Uh... Right. So up to 25% of your maximum equip load means you get the fast roll. Up to 50% means you get the medium roll. So currently you're on the medium roll, and then anything over 50%, you might as well go to over, over to 100%, All right. basically. You know what, I'm going to buy a helmet, and then we'll leave it at that. Thank you, Kai. <laughs> oh god, stop laughing. It's weird. Um... Oh wow, the standard helmet actually gives me more fucking armor. Bollocks. I should have looked. Alright, well, we'll keep it. It's fine. In case I want to do it. Let's just let's roll with what we got. It seems to be working for now. Alright, let's see where this leads. That's not good. Oh, I'm still in the menu. <laughs> That's your bad habit. It wouldn't happen if I had a pause menu. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Nice. Get wrecked, son. I think, I don't want to say confidently, I think the little dudes like this, I think I've kind of got them down. I think the guys with the uh, the, po the pole arms and the axe guys and, and the archers and shit still need to figure that stuff out. Where the fuck am I? You've been here before. I have. Oh, I see. I'm just over here. Okay, cool. So we're now getting back onto the deep path, hopefully. Not come across a bonfire. I thought there might be one in this area, but maybe it's a bit further on. Uh, right, so we can go this way, or we... Jesus. Right. There's two of them. Let's go this way, because there's a bonfire here. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was there the whole time. Yeah. I was thinking to myself, I was like, I know there's one that's going to be do my rest of the whole time. These enemies are going to respawn, aren't they? Um. I forget how far you have to fall to take damage in this game. Because again, it's wildly different from game to game. Yeah. Elden Ring, you can fall so far without taking damage that, like, coming from Dark Souls, the, the tutorial area in Elden Ring asks you to jump down a tunnel. Ooh, hello. And coming from Dark Souls, it's just like, no, I'm not jumping down there. That's a fucking trap. Yeah. But it's actually the tutorial area, and you're meant to jump down. But, uh, like, a lot of people like me just don't trust it. A little bit dicey. A little bit dicey for my thinking. Here he comes. Alright. I can't tell if he hit me then when I tried to parry him. No, I think it just bounced off your shield. So you didn't get the parry, but it's still blocked. Yeah. Sometimes it just kind of chinks off. Yeah. Uh... Let's roll. Okay, that was a that was a bit of a scary room. Not gonna lie, thought I was gonna die there. I was like, oh shit, back is set in. Let's go. If we're going to go through hell, let's make sure we're not full health. 
Close yeah, might as well not die with like six S's left in the inventory, you know. Yeah. It's the worst when you you get stingy like that, and you're like, yeah, I should have just healed. I don't need. To, I don't want to keep going back to the bonfire. Like now, maybe because I've got this amount of souls, but I'm also like, well, you gotta let go of that shit, right? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose my souls. Let's not. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, I was not prepared for that. Oh shit! 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 shit. That was, uh, close. Oh, there's literally nothing there. Just a dude. Just a guy. Ooh, yeah. And honestly, the fun comes sometimes. Like, you don't lose your souls necessarily when you die holding them. It's when you die the second time that you yeah. lose them for real. So that, that can be the fun of the tension sometimes. It's like, okay, now I need to get back to where I was. I definitely don't want to fight on the stairs because I'm going to smash my sword into the wall. So that's not good. Oh, oh, damn it. The parry messed it up. Yeah, that wooden shield doesn't give me much protection, though. Let me go for a second oh. switch. We can drink. It seems to sense the time to do that. Cut the path out, so why not? I'd love to be on the roof to shut these guys up. Oh! Where are they? Come on then. Oh, that's not the. There's three of them there. <laughs> These souls that I'm picking up, you can use those, can't you, for souls? Yeah. So, say you're like 100 off from another level up. That's a good time to bust one of those out. Yeah. Alright, cool. Because uh, those don't disappear when you die. Yeah, they stay with you. Okay, so we've got a couple of guys there. Oh, no. I fucking... I know what usually leads to these things. <laughs> The one up there, I can't tell. Oh, maybe there isn't one up there. Okay, let's go have a look. Do, 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 do. So I remember the, the test. The, uh, what was that? Hello? I mean, there's not one there. I remember the switch beta test, like, online thing. And they stick you next to one of these towers. And there's a fucking black knight up here. say, you know, for Weird. the age that this game is, it does have a nice look to it, that very medieval European look. Uh, there's a door over here, isn't there? Door. It's locked! Don't give me that shit. Okay, mm, okay. now we've actually got a real test here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, unlock, unlock, run away, run away. Fuck. Ah! I'm not sure I want to fight both of them. Maybe, maybe in here. 
Closing what? the door. What the fuck? <laughs> Stay in there. I need to stop panicking. I need to. Alright, one. Oh. I killed one of them. Alright, you fucker. Nice. Nice. Okay, <laughs> that worked out alright. I have too many souls. I can't. I can't just die now. It's almost. It's almost two thousand. I think. It's nearly. I think that's like two level ups. Yeah. You might have to bust out a soul for one of them. Yeah. An item soul, but. Um, no, I think that's just two level ups straight up. As a point, um, you see, you see reverse hollowing in the menu there. Yes. If you want to, you can unhollow yourself, and that means I I'm trying to remember if it gives you more health in this game. Um, otherwise, it definitely just lets you summon things. Yeah. Dark Souls. Humanity. Just gonna look that up for you. Uh, no, it doesn't give you any health, so it's just about summoning, being able to summon things. So, not you know, you don't have to. Yeah, I don't think I want to, like not yet anyway. Uh, all right, so we know the enemies come. Although, back. um, you've already got human, you've, you've already got one humanity straight oh. up, and you will lose oh. that. Okay, then. this might be yeah. <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. There we go. We finally died. I completely forgot the enemies. Other side came back. I was like, ah. <laughs> I mean, it went out in a blaze of glory. And I was, I was looking at the wiki, and then I just heard noise. I came back, and you were dying. Yeah, that's okay. See, I made the right call, right? I, I used the souls. I leveled yeah. up. Yeah. Um, that was the right call there. Banked. We've now got information, right? So we now know. Like, I remember that I've got to go right first before I go left. <laughs> It zigged when you should have zagged. Yeah. That's okay. Whoa, oh. hello. This guy wants a piece. I'm good at parrying already. Um, I th it's only, I will say this, it's only because most of these sword enemies have the same attack cycle. Yeah. I don't think I would want to try it on a boss. I don't even know. Can you parry a boss? Depends on the boss and the uh, specific attack. But there are... I will say that there are some major bosses that you can parry. Yeah. We, some but, very major bosses you can let, parry. Let me bring up something about this, right? So this is this, this is a tiny, tiny level, right? So I know that that room over there, because I've done it a minute ago, has three enemies in it, possibly four that comes from the outside, and you then have to deal with these fire throwers. I would say, already, that is quite a harsh amount of enemies to chuck because I know these guys aren't that uh, accurate but if you do what I do and you like to run backwards it does seem quite brutal to already have hey here's a room full of free enemies that you already need to contend with and also these fire throwers which yeah I would I would assume something like this would have come later not so early on and I you know I get it it's meant to be scary looking and it isn't probably as bad but Definitely feels like. Suppose it depends on how you approach it. Yeah, that's true. Because if you if you fight them all at once in the arena, yeah, it's hard. But you've accidentally stumbled across a good way to fight them. Yeah, that is true. It's a shame they can't get set on fire. Because, uh, because look at them. They can't. If you see that bridge, 
they can't all attack you at once. They can't surround you on that bridge. They have to come at you one at a time. They've queued up behind each other, you see. Yeah, it's more this... Um, I know these guys aren't particularly accurate, but there is like a couple of them up there. It just... It's an interesting way of setting up um, long-range guys. Like, if they were archers, right, they obviously have longer range, but I also feel like... Oh, shit. But it's just, it's also, it's just an interesting way of, um, I guess, potentially artificially making it look like it is. Like, I get that that's the point. It's just really interesting that when you think about it, like, oh, if I stay here, I'm going to get set on fire. But that room in front of me also has three enemies. And like you said, that bridge is actually really good for fighting things. It's just interesting to me. I'm just surprised that, that something like that happens so early on. Yeah. Well, we've played a lot of D&D 5th edition, and something that's unique to 5th edition is that even a goblin can kill you if there's 10 of them and one of you, even if they're the lowest level enemy, because numbers matter. Yeah. And the, the same is true of Dark Souls, the lowliest enemy can kill you um, if you get surrounded by them. Yeah. Ah, he's trying it. He's trying it. Yeah, he was. No. Nice stab. Let's just partly walk away. Oh yeah, there's fire here still. That's not. Fire is indeed hot. Okay, so now my Estus Flask has gone back to 5, so I'm really curious as to why I had 10 at the beginning. Maybe is it that particular Firelink Shrine that does that for you? It must be. Because 5 to me seems like what most people have when I've watched gameplay. So. Oh, so it's about kindling the bonfire. Oh, right. Um, okay. And that's something that you can do in multiplayer as well. So you use humanity to kindle the bonfire and then it gives you extra Whoops. Estus. Very useful if you need to get through a hard area to use some humanity on that. Yeah. I don't need to worry about those guys. They're not going to... He says... He's like, I don't need to worry about them. Um, right. These fools. Uh, let's heal. Oh, yeah, the crossbow guy. Ah, we've got one of them. Thousand souls already. But, you know, we need to get past that. Can't be. Oh, there's another dude down there as well. Okay. Come then, up you come. Enemy AI is really weird. Like, I thought that guy with the sword would have come for me first, not this dude. But. Hey, we'll take it. Get to a place where I can run around this dude. Or I could try parrying. I haven't actually tried to parry the. Uh, yeah, yeah, so maybe that's an option. Thing is, with these spear and shield dudes, well, I, say that. I was going to say they don't tend to attack you first, they'll often wait for you, but they will eventually, especially if you drop your shield. Yeah. Like, Come on, I'm not even shielding, come at me. Then they go for it. Nice. You're good at this parrying business. For now, for now, I don't want to. Yeah, I, I refuse to get cocky about this game. <laughs> That's when I start losing all of my souls and dying. <laughs> there is definitely... You know what? We're going to pick a direction. We're gonna hang on a minute. What the fuck is that? Oh. Oh, he didn't fall for it. He didn't fall for it, boys. Oh! I mean, 
I've learned something with this game, you know, it, it will try the trick more than one. I'm pretty sure this is where one of the knights is, isn't it? Yeah, no. <laughs> there's like little stuff like that, like there's certain like bits of the game where I've seen, I'm like, yeah, there's like a, a really difficult enemy here or there. Most of this area I, I kind of remember, or like from seeing, but... we go then. What bullshit are they going to put on the stairs for me? Barrels! <laughs> just up the entire castle. Sorry guys. Oh no, a white door. <laughs> Reinforced barrels. How the fuck am I breaking them by rolling into them? That's what I mean. It's it's hilarious that you can destroy things by rolling them. Oh. All right. So I I, I actually <laughs> I actually know what's coming because Mark was telling me all about this boss. Whoa, look at that. What is that bullshit? That lock on. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, there's a little bit of homing with yeah. the arrows in Dark Souls. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's quite funny. But only for the enemies, not for you, of course. He has a very long attack range. No, that was quicker. That was quicker. <laughs> There's a staple of Dark Souls where they attack so slow yeah. that it's like a. It's to throw you off. Yeah. Because you no, yeah. parry way too early and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> it takes that long to attack. <coughs> I can see. Like, probably not if. To, as you may have noticed. I'm not exactly raging at the game. Maybe that will happen at some point. Uh, but I, at the same time, kind of accept that I'm going to die. It's fine. But I can imagine somebody who gets quite angry with the game would probably get pissed off with that. But I kind of see that it's kind of funny. What? Oh, God, it's this dude. That's why it's so funny that Dark Souls became so mainstream. Because then you had the sudden influx of you know normal gamers, like casual mom and pop gamers They're like oh this game's popular everyone talked about this game let's try it out and so you get the wonderful experience of watching people rage at this game oh shit what oh, okay. all right well this is an arena we'll fight here God, <laughs> right. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I mean, one, I didn't expect him to jump up there. That was pretty funny. I could see you could do some interesting. There's, a, there's definitely a cheesy strat there where you would jump down on his head, climb up, get him to jump up or something, jump down, go back up, jump on his head. Like I could definitely see that happening. Oh my God, that was really funny. <laughs> Oh well, there we go. See, we've like, you know, I did all right to start with, but we've 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 hit a hit, hit the wall, maybe. So now, see, now I got. See, you back. you have passed what my in what in my opinion, the test of whether or not someone has what it takes to beat Dark Souls is when something like that happens. You find it funny as fuck. I mean, so that was that, that's a good sign. That was legit. Rather than raging, because some people would rage at that. I see something like that, and it's like, yeah, that's fucking funny. I, uh, I did not expect to be knocked off the castle, and that's what made it even funny to me. Like, I, I rolled thinking, I'll go under the attack, 
and then got knocked off of the cliff and died. And like, yeah, you know, it's like... If you enjoy shit like that, if you enjoy being surprised by bullshit and just how funny the, just how bullshit it is, that so, to the point that it's funny, there will be many more moments in Dark Souls that you can enjoy, my friend. I think I, I think it'd be interesting though, because like bullshit with the bosses like that, that's quite funny. Whether it's just like this, like normal enemies, that might be my point of like being okay, a bit annoyed with this, but I don't know. Like I'm not at that stage yet. Like, it's, and this is gonna surprise you, Greg, and it's surprising me right now. I am legit having fun playing this, which I didn't think would be the case. Yeah. But I will say, the, one caveat. You're starting to get it. I still hate the controls. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> like the controls. I it, it doesn't feel natural to do this. Like, and obviously I'm not mashing the button, but tapping it twice. It doesn't feel comfortable. Well, you're, you're an hour in. Give it time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, sure. I'm not... It's not enough to the point where it's a problem. My, my issue is I'm not using this. I'm not locking on a lot, or I'm leaving the menu. Open. You know, I still think the game should have a pause button, if just outside of bosses. Um, you know, I'm not going to change my tune on that, but I'm, I'm having fun. I can, so far, I can see why people like the game. Is it nails right now? No, but the game does escalate very, very fast. When you've got like three or four enemies, you can't just stand there unless you're a fucking beast you know like you're not going to stand there and just tank it you know see the pause button it's it's rarely a problem if you like unless you like the doorbell rings mid fight then it's a problem um but usually if you just need to go and pee you just you know most enemies aren't like actively seeking you out you can see where they're patrolling oh, yeah so it's usually not that hard to find you just go okay i'm gonna go pee nothing's gonna come and attack you yeah, usually no. <laughs> yeah yeah well that's what i mean is this like it's not the um it's not an issue right now right it's more the the idea of not being able to do it because like doing this having my um, yeah. menu open <laughs> it's my fault i'll admit but it would be nice to be able to, it takes you to a different screen, just to, so that I know that when I unpause, that menu's gone away and I'm not walking around like this. This is just, this is just odd to me, right? I've not played a game that has yeah. this sort of function. So to me, it feels weird because I'm still moving and the menu's open, like, that's not normal. Well, the good thing about that is that you can, like, if you need to access your items, Don't you can fight. still see where the fuck you're going. Like, yeah. if you're trying to do that crazy, ah, uh, where's that item, where's the item while you're under attack? Oh wait, that's it. Yeah. It's just interesting, because I've, like I said, I've never played a game that does that. So, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get me killed. I've, I've accept that. Mm -hmm. I did say I was coming into this with, like, you know, trying to be as, uh, fair as possible. And, I feel like so far, you know, I... I mean, I'm having fun. And I don't see... I, I'm not the sort of person that rages at games anymore anyway. Like, I think I would... If I get to a point where I was generally not having fun, I would just stop. You know, I'd just be like, yep, this ain't for me anymore, or like, whatever. But that's okay. A year later, Levi's like, Dark Souls, the series, is actually the epitome of video games. No. You guys don't understand. <laughs> I think playing Sekiro like this is actually the best action game you guys you know you guys just don't appreciate true art oh. <laughs> like I think you know I can at least go away and if I wanted to be a bit like yeah it's all right you know at least I have ground to stand on at least, at least other people can finally see oh. that oh dear that was close let's not let's not die I think it's healing um, I did heal. That's okay. But the, the stigma about the game being hard, like the game, I can see why some people say it isn't. I see, it's like anything in it. As soon as you like, remember when Metro Dread came out, right? Metro Dread was genuinely like a difficult game. But if you're somebody that is like pretty partial to. Um, platformers you're gonna pick those controls up really easily and, it, and that already defeats some of the difficulty because you're just like oh i've got the hang of the controls you know 
But I can see why some people think these games are hard and why people, some people say actually they're not that bad. Okay, so we gotta go take the archers out first. That's interesting is that Dark Souls 2 is where some people start to say it's unfairly hard. Yeah. And that was actually a game not directed by Miyazaki, and that might be part of the reason, mm. is that the directors took it over going, Dark Souls is famed for its difficult, we've got to make it hard. But they didn't perhaps fully understand oh. it. Yeah. In, in the name of like every enemy is given like a very strong tracking overhead. Which I actually don't think is that unfair, but a lot of people don't like. Yeah. Where they attack very slow, and even if you strafe oh. around them, it's still going to hit you. But, oh, you know, God, once you God. know that that's what it is, it's a tracking overhead, Yeah. then there's no excuse for complaining about it, because you know it's going to track you. The way is to step out of its range. Yeah. And then counter. Yeah. Well, I almost died. Yeah, I was trying not to talk too much. No, I, like, right. I don't want to distract you too much. I think Rose had 2,600. Oh, mate. I, mm. That's a lot of souls. Mm. I can't. Well, now you just picked. That's the thing. You you collected all those on the way here, and then you picked it up. And now the fun begins. I can't. Because you can keep dying, and that keeps accumulating. And you're like, fuck, I need to. You could always put on the ring if you wanted. It might be an early time to use it, but you can if you want. It's reminding you that you have it. Maybe after a few more deaths and it gets up to like 5,000. The problem, yeah, but the problem is I can still die on the way here, so I'm like. I, yeah. I think I need to, like, I think I need to suck it up. The souls at this point in the game aren't important. What's important right now is learning. Yeah, you're not living and dying on your stats right now at all. It's all to do with your skill. So let's, let's learn. We know that. Uh, is there a, a set of ladders on the other side on that other tower? I couldn't tell you. So I know, I know that I need to do this. Jump off. Hopefully, we can find it. Oh, <laughs> no ladder. That's one of those instances where even if I knew the answer, which I was pretty sure there wasn't, I'm not going to tell you. No, Certain things I'm not going to tell you. So now, now it was interesting. What if I stay on the ladder? <laughs> that cheese. Okay. Oh my so god. <laughs> Barely. Now, I, I feel like the game, if I stay on the ladder, the game's gonna do something that I don't want. I think that's fair, that's fair. I mean, you don't know until you try. True, but I have a strategy that seems to be working, so. See, I feel like you should be hitting me. That's really weird to me. Do I fight him properly, or do I just... Oh dear. This is why Miyazaki says he's not good at games. Because, like, yeah, if you try to fight an every enemy in a fair duel, like I too often did, then yeah, some of these enemies are really fucking hard. Yeah. But every enemy has a trick. Oh shit. Oh, oh okay, so there's the... There's the Looking up at with that dumb look on his face. You come down now? <laughs> There's something weirdly cute about that face. Homeward bone, so that takes you back to a bonfire, doesn't it? I believe. I have no Estus left, so now we are really playing with fire, but bosses don't come back, do they? Oh, 5,600 souls, baby, and no, they don't. Um, let's explore. It's a hefty bounty. 
In later games, they might have given you a bonfire directly after that. I will say, of the series, I think Dark Souls is some of the most uneven with the bonfires. And it was incredibly fucking irritating to discover on subsequent playthroughs that there were secret bonfires that I'd missed that would have made things a lot easier. Yeah, I know that there's secret ones. Yeah, right, we know, we know not to go that way because I know what happens. Is there a bonfire around here? Because this would be a perfect... Is that Solaire? I think it is. Please don't attack me! Ah, hello. Everyone, hollow, Sun Pose. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now you need to give undead, Levi your energy. Hands up in the air. The birthplace of Lord Gwyn. To seek my very own son. Son? You find that strange? Do well, I kill him? Good. No need to Kick him off the edge. <laughs> I get that look all the time. That's dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Praise. Praise the sun. Okay, so there's no bomb fire. Sometimes, I'll, I'll tell you this, is that very often in Dark Souls, NPCs have more than one line of dialogue. You talk to them repeatedly. Oh, okay. So I've got bonfire on my mind, and I'm like, Ugh. it's like, do oh, I get back? Aha! Uh -huh. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition. If you have a moment. Yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Please uh, isn't greatly. Well then, take this. What sign is so? So that summons it. We are amidst strange beings in a um, The flow of time it's not necessarily. Okay. With you, can, you can find out about it in a sec. Bonfire, slabber, the very fabric of oh, fuck's sake, Jack. And <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. Oh god, like every time. To summon one another as spirits cross the gaps between the worlds and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the white soapstone is how you oh, put down no your way. summon sign for somebody else to summon you to their game. Yeah. Okay. Grossly incandescent. I... Fuck, I don't know what to do right now. So, this door is locked. This... There could be a bonfire down there. Oh, but I also know that... Yeah, I'm... I... Yeah. There it is. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I didn't expect to get hit under there. But I know that... Okay, so... We... Maybe now... Mm. Now we go to the bonfire. Maybe now would it be a time to consider using the ring. It's completely up to you. So, it's your ring. I'm going to ask you something, because I'm not overly worried about spoilers, but you'll have a better idea. Where is the next bonfire? Is it close by? Um... So I know you can go down the side of these bridges, but I fuck knows what's down there. I think that's how you it's... get past it. A little ways away. It's not okay. incredibly close. No, that's fine. I have a lot here that I could level up with. I would rather take extra stamina, anything at this point. Assuming I don't now die. Uh, do yeah, that. it's it's real harsh that because you know the boss souls. It's a one-time drop. You can lose all that. This is one of those places in the game where I feel like the bonfire placement, it, like it's a huge difficulty spike in terms of like bonfire distance. Yeah. I haven't actually been in there yet. Have I? 
Okay, let's let no, it's not not it's not get sidetracked. Let's actually do what I said I was gonna do. I have no Estus flasks right now. I have no way of healing. These guys are still here, and they might come back to bite me in the ass right now. I believe I lost all those souls on my first run. Hey look. Because I was like, there's gotta be a bonfire, come on! Because they were playing it years later, you know? <laughs> We, we, I think I feel like this was the smart decision. So, um, I won't contradict that. I, I mean, I, I, you know, like I feel like it's possible to get through a lot of stuff, but I would be testing my luck a lot doing that. Um, do I want to go for a lot of damage here, or do I just want to go for health straight up? Maybe I get my health to about twenty and then start raising up my other stats. It's not a bad shout. Could go for strength so that when I do run into a boss, but then again, the bosses are not about how hard you hit them, it's about staying in the fight longer. I think we're gonna. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Even as recently as playing Elden Ring, I've made the mistake of being like. I, I just needed to boost my health. The game was getting super hard, and it's just because I was like, oh, I don't need health that bad. It's like, ah, you, you kind of do. Oh. You might, you get cocky. Yeah. I just realized then, I ran out and went, wait a minute. <laughs> I've just done the bonfire. I need to think about what I'm doing here. Oh. Guy. Flying out of nowhere, being a hero. Okay, what a lad. What a lad. What does it cost to rekindle a bonfire? Is it, is it souls or is it something else? So, two humanity. Um, right. Which. Oh, you've got two actually. So, one to become human and then one to kindle the bonfire. Because right. you need to be human to kindle the bonfire. Good to know. I don't need to do it now, but that is really good to know because I feel like having ten S's instead of five, that's that's a that's a big jump. <laughs> Come on, lady. Okay, I need to get better at this bit because I'm losing health really nearly, but that's okay because. I don't think that boss is going to come back, so at least when we get to the bridge, I can start working on that. So now I'm not worried about souls, really, uh, because I've just upped my health by quite a significant amount, so we should be okay for a little bit. Okay, Triple parry. That's the oh, okay, now I've made it harder for myself. Ah, didn't expect the leap. Oh, shit. Okay, let's not be, not be greedy. Now, now, Master Baggins. This guy's throwing yeah, shit at me. Bastards. Right, I got really confused. I didn't realize that was the guy that just threw me. Send him an Xbox live message afterwards going, Cheap bastard, you only won because of firebombs. <laughs> 1v1 me again. Now we're talking old school. Come on then. It's the people who send those oh. kinds of messages that got mad at this game. I mean, I mean, there are certain parts of the game where everyone's going to get mad. Um, Blight Town. But, uh... Yeah, I hear Blight Town you know, is the worst part of the game. Yeah, that's... Blight Town is designed to make you mad. Design... Like, there are certain parts of the game where it's like... 
Miyazaki's just like, okay, you've gotten pretty far. Respect. I'm going to test you now. Yeah. I'm going to test your humanity and your willpower. Where the oh. fuck did you come from? Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Oh, right, you're one of them. Okay. One of the fucking hilarious things about Elden Ring, I don't know if you saw any of this with the interviews, is Miyazaki going, like, without knowing, without realizing it, he found himself putting more poison swamps in the game. Yeah. It's just like. <laughs> I just keep putting more poison swamps in. Everyone's favorite. And the designers are trying to drag him away from the computer, like, stop it. It's like, no, just one more. I fucking love that man. He's a maniac. He's, he's... He knows what he likes. Do you know what? You know how we were talking the other day and said about um, Masahiro Sakurai having like his own YouTube channel? I would love yeah. to see Mizugaki have that. Like, legit, oh, yeah. just talking about like his like philosophies and games and stuff, and like, you know, just having that, um... Oh, I've got no stamina. Uh, you know, just sort I of feel like Miyazaki is a bit more of a weirdo who probably wouldn't take as well to the public eye. Um, Sakurai's channel is, is amazing so far. Oh, it's fucking it. so good. It's so good. I'm like, you know what? This guy is like... Just a legend. I love that man. Like he's See Sakurai is also like a lot of Japanese game designers. You know, he's a he's a shy nerd. He's a, but he's got enough of that little like spark, that little sense of humor that carries it, you know? Yeah, he's got that cheeky charm. Yeah. There are certain people in the industry that just are I don't know, they're just, just incredible. They're just above the rest, you know? Like, and I think it's so cool that there's more recognition for these guys as time's gone. Ah, fuck. I think it's really important to know, like, who's making the games and stuff. Like, you know, we do it with video game composers. We do do it with some directors and stuff. But, you know, obviously they're made by entire teams. But it's really cool, like, actually putting, like, a face to the names and stuff. I think we're living in such an exciting time. Like, if you're someone who's into games, we're very lucky that we're kind of... We've been here for this era, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kids in the future, I think, like, look... I don't know if we all expected games to take off the way they have, but, like, they're, they've exploded and they're still exploding, and all of a sudden, you know, just normal people that you wouldn't expect to play games, or everyone's playing games now. Fucking, like, Jim and Dave down the pub are all playing games. I use Dave as a generic name. Yeah. Like, and, like, we got to be here and, and see this. And I think in the future we are going to see celebrities who are, like, game directors and composers. Um, but we were there at the inception to yeah. a degree, you know. We weren't there. I, I wasn't there in the PC age. Your brother was, lucky bastard. But, ah. I, I mean, you know, the old school, the yeah. real inception of games. All right, so... I know I have to run to the sides, but I'm like, can I do this without getting hit? I'm not actually sure. Have fun. Come on. Well, I've accidentally triggered this dude, so let's fight him. Yeah, I can see the thing on the right hand side there. On Dragon Boy. Turn that off so I can see who goes to it. Oh, yeah, shit. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Okay. This is a weird input thing, then. Eh? Let's, uh, let's try that again. Definitely, definitely, but you know what? Not worth it. Yeah, another D&D lesson is that you don't have to fight every enemy. Oh, I didn't even set the dragon up. That's weird. Another fun thing that happened on my first playthrough is that 
I saw left and I saw forward. And I was like, I'll go, I guess, this way. And I went forward. <laughs> and I didn't discover this and the link back to the old bonfire. Because now you can just go back straight up. I just kept <laughs> car carrying on. So many things I, on Dark Souls I made so hard for myself. Or I didn't make, but I just got unlucky. Where are you going? Oh, shit. Right, I'm here. Right, okay. Oh, you've got enough to level up. Oh, have I? Okay, well. So, that confused the shit out of me. I didn't expect to come out there. <laughs> like, that's why I was really yeah. confused. Oh, I ran out and went, hey, I've never been here before. What the fuck? Yeah, you might want to go... S I mean, you were just at the bonfire anyway, so you might want to level up. No, that's alright. didn't expect this dude to, uh... Barter? <laughs> I could have, yeah. I didn't expect him to climb up the ladder, that was new. Yeah, this yeah. is a good, good shot actually, level up. Dark Souls can climb. Yeah. Why well, can't Metroid crawl? Uh, I pushed the wrong button and I pushed the fucking button. If you ever play on PC, you're going to be so fucked up. Yeah. Uh, right, that's the last one I'm going to put to health for a while. But now, so I need basically 1,900-ish. Uh, to then maybe start working either on endurance or strength. That's what we're going to be doing. I kind of want to play um, the remake of Demon's Souls on PS5. That game is gorgeous. I've been looking at it and, and hearing other people talk about it. It's like, yeah, it might be the prettiest video game right it's now. Like, definitely one of them. Currently. Sure. I've never played Demon's Souls, so that might be a fun one. Like, again, like... I, I'd love to get to it at some point. It's, it's going to be a great game, but I'm I'm so oversaturated with Souls likes. Yeah. It, it's like this, you know. If I play it ten years later, it's still going to be there. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure Miyazaki will stop making them at some point. No. I mean, look at the sales of fucking Elden Ring. That game it exploded. Well, maybe he'll just go to producing them. The thing is, you get bored with a single genre, yeah. eventually. Yeah, definitely. Like, you know, I want to see, I want to see From Software make a Metroid game straight up. Yeah, I, I play that. Um, so, can you kick a dude with a shield? That's what we're about to find out. Oh. Or not? Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. That one. No, that's not the input I wanted. I definitely need more stamina. Right, looking at that bar right now. Do you know the input for a kick properly, are you so? It's this. Ah! Okay. Yeah. No, no, no! Fuck. <laughs> What's going not on? only does it work, it opens him up. So, now this could just be uh, because I'm doing the stream. I am a happy. I didn't realize, like, if you input, like, double tap. It'll actually follow up, so I'm like, okay, I need to be careful with my inputs because I'm gonna get myself yeah, a bit killed. Bit of a cue. Yeah. I'm gonna get myself killed if I'm not careful. Cues are simultaneously like input cues, they're they're simultaneously a great feature and can also be a trap. Yeah. With oh. a mash happy. Oh shit. Okay. This is what I was worried about. About uh, the one uh, time in the game that my dagger build wasn't yeah. completely shit. So this is... But you know, this is where a bow and arrow is better than a dagger. And that's right. what I discovered. I don't know how I feel about this. Because considering how many corridors there are in this game, that definitely feels frustrating, but not to the point of like game breaking or anything. You just have to think around it. Um, I think I have. Oops. I have a crossbow, but do you need ammo for this? Yeah. Okay. Do you have ammo? Might not have bolts. It would help if I push the right button. <laughs> I don't. Okay. So, what would be the. Let's see. First one, let's get out of the menu. There we go.
It might not be a terrible place to use your stab. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that meter that came out, that was for bleeding, right? Because I saw like a blood drop, but so I assume like, once that yeah. hits at uh, the top, that will give you bleed. Do you bleed? Yeah. Weird, interesting way of applying status effects in Dark Souls that I actually like. Yeah. I cannot see shit. These guys cannot block. But what they do is surround you and fuck you to death five at a time. That sound of going is just all the blood coming out of you as you get completely fucking stun locked because they're all attacking you at once and you can't do anything and you just put the controller down. It's like, well, I can't do anything. Stunlock. Now that's always an interesting thing to talk about in games. Monster Hunter, actually, Monster Hunter does that sometimes where it will stunlock you, and I'm not a fan of that, where it's like. Yeah, don't... Oh, here we go. Okay. So, for those who don't know, when the game came to Switch originally, they did an online test. And this was the area that they gave. Now. I tried to play it, but that fucker over there, that big, whatever that enemy is, kept killing me, and I couldn't get past this area. So this is really where the test comes in, because I know there's some set of stairs you can go up, um, and I also know that if I keep going up here, there's a black knight. So actually, unless they've moved him, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there's a black knight up there. Right. Which, which I am. Yeah, no, I... I got confused when you originally mentioned it. I was like, that's weird that there's a black knight at one of those towers. But yeah, this tower there is, yes. I'm pretty sure. So this is where that, that online test was. Now, that was the only time I ever played this game, and it was a really, really bad experience. So that's kind of why I was like, I don't think this game's for me. Um, whereas starting at the yeah. beginning, weirdly enough, starting at the beginning, easy as you win. So what have we got? This would be a bad place to start playing the game. This this is where I played it from. This is the where, where it was. All right, I drink. Um, so, this this big thing, whatever that is, I don't actually know how to deal with it, which is kind of an issue. I part. think it's an armored boar. Yeah. I'd say. This is also where I found out about um, uh, whacking the weapon. Against the okay, these guys have got more health. Oh, you're drinking. <laughs> I love that the other undead have their own Estus. Yeah. It's a cool mechanic, that. Oh, hello. It's just... You play a lot of video games, you get used to rules, and it's like, they can't heal, because that's not fair. Only I can heal. Yeah. And then the game's like, no. They can also... Why wouldn't they have the same tools as you? And some of them have... Fuck loads of fire bombs okay, that they throw at you, because why would they fight you fair? This is not good. Run! Okay. Run! You are immune during those animations. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna die unless I can get up the stairs. Right. I don't think it can come up here. Let's go we drink. We're gonna ignore that and deal with the archers. I don't think I want to fight this guy on the stairs, but I might not have much choice. Or I run past this guy and deal with the other two. Mm. Yeah, this, this feels like a bad idea. Um, this is like not so much growth either, but... Well, that was not what I wanted to do. Ah. Oh, 
I don't think kill, he's trying. It's a weird interaction! This guy shouldn't be here to deal with. I'm switching weapon. Like it's a thing. Yeah, got no shield though. Yeah. Okay, armored four. Not sure I want to tackle with him. I think we can leave him where he is. So I know that some enemies don't respawn in this game. Uh, probably not the little guys, but I almost rolled into that. That would be bad. I wish I could. Yeah. I think that's actually genuinely another fucking Miyazaki moment trap there. The the bar the barrels it gets you used to rolling into barrels, and then it puts them on the edge of a cliff just because fuck you. There is a way to go here, but I'm not sure where it is. Okay. Ah, see, this is where I, one of the first times I died was because this is a, I, this is where my weapon kept banging into the wall. Now, if I am not mistaken, that this this dude here. He's leading me into a trap. So, yeah, wipe my hands down a second. Before we go, we've got marching in here, I believe. Could possibly be the guy that sees you and runs away into a room. Yeah. That's okay. So, this is where we need to use the staff. Guy's gone. Oh, here he is. Oh my god! Ooh. I was not expecting that. Stop him. Alrighty. So. Oh. What have we learned? Flying on stairs, bad. Flying on stairs, never good. Well, depends if you're fighting five enemies. Oh man, mystery key. Yeah, yeah, well that's different, isn't it? Just stab forward and hope for the best. Because then they're all stuck behind each other going, get out of the way, Bob. Trying to surround him. Okay, Bob's like, don't worry, I've got this. We've well, got a key. He's just one guy. So, I assume the key opens something. What does it open? Wait for this. Hey, bud. I don't know where I'll go now. Uh, let's think. I don't think there was a way under there. Or maybe I missed something. I hope I don't have to fight that thing because it's a fucking menace. Well, let's just double check before we start backtracking and I clearly missed something. Accepted. No Oof. camera. Ooh, more souls. The fun thing about the lore of this game is that souls are like energy that you literally get big 
and if you have a, a like a big soul, you yourself get massive. <coughs> yeah. Okay. See, I see that, and that makes me. <coughs> excuse me. It makes me think that. Um, enemies. Oh, I recognise this area. So tempting, isn't it? That pretty back. You shouldn't have said anything. See, you're so paranoid that you assume that means it's a trap. Mm. <clears throat> uh, you're fishing for a bonfire, huh? Um, I know there is one near this area. I don't know exactly where it is, but... Oh, bollocks. Well, oh. that was the wrong button. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah. Notice your Estus flasks. Yeah, no, that's okay. I'm not worried about that. It was, as soon as I hit the wall then, I was like, it's game over. I was like... Not, not a fan. As, like, as I noticed you are at half health and, and weren't healing, I was like, oh, right, yeah. yeah. You have so few Estus flasks at this point in the game. That's okay. I feel like later games were a bit more generous with Asus flasks. Like Dark, Dark Souls, compared to some of the others, it's very kind of pure and simple. Yeah. It's got like fewer labyrinthine upgrades and doesn't throw so many things at you. And I, I, that's why I think it's kind of like it's a, a very important game to play in. And in some ways, I think it is the best one to play because it's it's pure and what it is, it's it's simple. Yeah. But in the same way as old NES games, it can also be simply hard. Yeah. It's like the the reality is you just don't. Oh. You only get five Estus flasks. Yeah. Oh fuck. That's weird. Why are you not dying? So we. So this is the thing, right? So right now I know that I'm not doing enough damage because I'm not. I'm no longer hitting things for like a couple of shots, apart from the really unarmored enemies. But I've taken so much yeah, well, stats don't, don't actually make that much difference to damage, depending on the weapon. But, um, a lot of it is just flat. Oh. And then different weapons have different scaling levels. Oh. Okay, up right like you might have a weapon with A strength scaling yeah. and C dexterity scaling, yeah. things like that, or just C on both. So I mucked up my kick twice there. I need to be a lot closer. Well, I think that, that was that the first souls lost? You had some yeah, souls on the ground I, that got I, lost? I didn't have a lot anyway. I think I had a yeah. thousand. Might have been more than that, but it wasn't it wasn't enough to be like, I have six thousand souls, oh shit. It was more yeah. like, I was like that's what I mean. Like right now it's just getting back to that area. I know that there is a bonfire on there. Those are obviously new enemies, those guys with the biggest shield of swords. To kind of figure out how they work. Um, they obviously stab more than they swing, by the looks of it because of their placement, but yeah, we figure that stuff out. And the good thing oh. is, I don't have that pressure of souls right Look at now. That. That's interesting, isn't it? If you uh, look up What do you see? A tail. Yeah. Oh, I know you can attack. It's interesting. It. I know you can attack. <laughs> um, you have to use a crossbow or something, and you can kill it off, and you can get a shitload of souls from it, I think. But I am. Um, I'm not. Not a, sh not a shitload of souls, but you can get something. I'm not gonna waste my time 
fucking yeah. doing that. <laughs> Something to come back to later if you feel like it. Yeah, maybe. What are you doing? <laughs> doing a little dance. Yeah, get up. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm trying to get him to come here. A little bounce as you like hit the wall. It's like, oh. Sometimes they can just be annoying bastards. Yeah. Look at this. Camera's having a, having a moment. Yeah. <laughs> right, I know I need to kind of get in this room and deal with these rats straight away. No, I was going to get the early swing. Oh! oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh. Okay, I don't know how long poison lasts. Is it soon? Quite a long time. Probably. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> several. I was going to say several health bars. Work. Yeah. Probably two, like a good two health bars. I don't. I there don't, are items that can cure it. Yeah, I feel like I'm suddenly not doing as much damage to these enemies, but that might have been just again, like you hit that point where you were like, if I go all out and use my whole stamina bar, I should be able to take them all. But their health's going up. Yeah, no, it just feels like the first time I went through there that they did die quicker. But it could just be a placebo effect. Like I, I don't know. Um, I know there's. Well, this is where it can start becoming beneficial to use your heavy attack a little bit more. Yeah. Because especially like if you can get them in a narrow walkway and stab them with the heavy attack. The heavy attack on your your longsword there is very kind of safe. Yeah. And then you can just back up, let your stamina regen, and they're kind of staggered for a second, and they have to come chase you if they want to get you while your stamina is down. And then they're not gonna they're not gonna reach you in time. Yeah. And then you're gonna attack them again with full stamina, and then on that second run you're gonna get them all. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to wait here. Come on. This is probably the weirdest enemy placement in the game so far. Um, oh, shit. Weird isn't the word I'd use. It's very... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I was waiting for that to happen. It's I was gonna say it's very deliberate. It is very deliberate. It's, it's annoying. Dare I say this, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of flag for it. I think that's actually pretty shitty to put it there because <laughs> you've already got the rats. You've already done the small sky. It's already on a small cliff. Like you really need a guy that, especially with the way the AI is, he just dances back and forth for a while. It's there to waste your time for sure. Um, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my guns. I think that's bad enemy placement. Uh, so far in the entire game, that is the worst enemy placement. I don't think it needs to be there, and it's, it's there to waste your time. Oh, fuck, wrong button. Oh. Now I'm just pushing oh. the wrong buttons. My bad. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm gonna say it. If people don't like it, so be it. I'm okay with that. You're allowed to think. You're allowed to have an opinion. If it was one of these sword guys that was there, he's likely going to come out and not waste your time. This guy is is, is there to waste your time. Do you know? Look at him. Look at him mocking me. But isn't it satisfying to kick him off the edge oh, after yeah, all that? Absolutely. After he's been absolutely. so annoying. But like, look. This, I tell you why. I tell you why. It wouldn't be that bad if this didn't occur. That would work then. But when you yeah. look at that, that's uh. That's just It'd be interesting if you could swap your main hand, right? Be be left-handed. Sure. And and yes, like yes, if I had magic, you could just use magic on him. I get it, but you know. So. Oh yeah, yeah. You've you pressed Y in this game yet? I want to say or X on the Switch, like the top button. Uh, X does double-handed, doesn't it? So. Yeah. Which, just you know, wondering if you tried it out, just a thing. Yeah, I have, I have done it because it does a, it does a forward attack. 
Well, it increases your damage a bit. Wow. Increases the effect of your strength on your weapon scaling by 0.5. Really? It gives you a different over yeah. heart, over hand as well. I don't really got there. It's interesting. Who's that guy, that YouTube guy that does sword things? There's a lot of people like that. Uh, Shadowversity. Shadowversity oh. did a, a YouTube video lately about... It was, it was specifically about D&D, &D, but it's really the same as this. Where it's like, does two-handing a weapon actually increase the force behind it? The answer is yes, which I, I thought was obvious. Wow, this poison's like literally gonna kill me. I don't think yeah. I've got enough esters to. It's pretty annoying if you get poisoned. It's like, well, I'm just fucked then. Yeah, that's unfortunate. you can do is it was well, the opposite of what you are doing which is like well at least i'm going to get as close to the bonfire as i can so i don't lose those souls you never take me alive no don't jump you fucking moron oh, no no it's all gone wrong boys Dark Souls 1 controls. <laughs> yeah, man, that's that's brutal. Like, giving you that much... Um, yeah. That much poison? Like, to, to do it straight away? That's... Okay. But we're learning, right? You know, we're learning. I mean, yep. feel Now you know. Well, if you get poisoned... Just die. <laughs> like, at this point, just die. Um... Yeah, or like just run back, but oh yeah, know. I could have gone to the other. If bonfire, I, if, I, yeah. you know, you could just run back, not necessarily all the way back to the bonfire, but sort of back to the safe area before the enemies start, and then jump off the edge, so yeah. that you can just run back and retrieve your souls. From yeah, there that's true. Quickly. So, isn't it this game that every time you die, you lose more health? I don't feel see my health bar going down. No. Oh, okay. Where is it? Mm, there's several stages to hollowing. Have I forgotten? Has it been that long? Let me look that up. I think maybe that was in the beta for Dark Souls. They discovered it. Every time you die, you lose I, I'm sure there was something that happens when you die. Now, That's Dark Souls 2. How is it? Yeah, which is bullshit. Because... This is again, it wasn't directed by Miyazaki. Because people say Dark Souls is punishing. Yeah. But it doesn't discourage experimentation to the point where every death feels like it sets you back additionally. Oh, it's flashes. like, okay, I die, I die. Yeah. I die, I restart. I die. Dark Souls 2 is the only game to do that. But in, it does also encourage you to actually use your humanity, which otherwise in a lot of other games is kind of fucking like, uh, like it's it's there's just no downside of being undead at all. What's the number? The zero zero next like to my shit. health bar. That's your humanity, oh. which you have lost all of at this point. Oh, I didn't realize. Um, I had to keep hold it like I, yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe then. Yeah, you maybe. lose your humanity when you die. I think. Um, Otherwise, it's an item that you can pick up and you use it, like the, the sort of hard souls items, and then you use it, and then it adds to your number. And then you can sort of consume it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can consume the humanity to, to become human, then you can consume humanity to kindle bonfires. Right. Okay, so that's really interesting. So it automatically gets used. If you have some. Well... No, it doesn't automatically get used. It's an item for the most yeah, so part. Yeah, so if, if I go in my inventory, I would have humanity to use if I wanted to, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Being items, not yeah. equipment. I have bombs. And a lot of souls. There you go, humanity. There you go. Greatly restore HP. Uh, yeah, greatly restore HP. There you go. Down, down. Interesting. 
Uh, Fucking weird. Yeah. Well, like, humanity is a weird system that seems mostly tied to online features. Oh, yeah, it could be a lot of that stuff, yeah. So, I... Yeah, we need to deal with these rats. Let's... What? That, that's an interesting thing about online is that you, have, if you allow yourself to get summoned and then you help the host kill a boss, you regain your humanity. Oh, cool. Right, are you going to heal? No, you're not. You're going to... Oh. So... Yeah, if you run out of stamina... Back then, you made the woolly mistake, is that you had, like, no stamina, but you still had the shield up. And that's why you got staggered. Should have... Should have, uh... Drop the shield! Right, that's cool. Drop the shield, Wooly! Right, so I'm gonna go to this part of the wall. And he does eventually come out. So. Hi. Okay. See, now you've got him. Now you know how to I kill him. Despite that, I still think he's bullshit. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna change that's my mind. That's fair. I think, I think he. Could, because look what enemies they then give you, these rats, right? That's not. Here, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the straight. Whoops! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the honest truth, Levi. Here and right now, here's my review of Dark Souls. Yeah. Did you know this? Dark Souls is bullshit. All of it. It's all bullshit. That's the whole game. Is overcoming that bullshit. And that's the satisfaction. But it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. But should it be? I didn't realize enemies but flashed. Oh, wow. here, here's the secret, Levi. You can learn to wield bullshit like a weapon. I, I, I would definitely disagree. I don't think it's all bullshit. But we have come across the first instance of what <laughs> I would consider genuinely... Oh, it's only just begun, my friend. Oh, so uh, let me ask you something. So I, I'm curious. I've seen in one of the games. I don't know which one. If it's Bloodborne or if it's Dark Souls, which whichever one of the games it is. There's a part where you walk into a house and like, the door swings open and there's an enemy behind the door. And the only reason you would know that enemy is there is the first time you do it, he backs up. Now, obviously, these games, for the most part, will give you some chance of doing the game the first time right you know i didn't die for a while i got a bit lucky to be honest but you know there's obviously that chance that you can get through most of it without dying it's unlikely but you can definitely do it so having an enemy behind the door backstab you on the first time does that is that like to me that seems like real bullshit, it bullshit? yeah is it bullshit yes but so let's 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 go one further is it good game design what is good game design, Levi? So, I've had so many years to think about these sort of things. Good game design, obviously, is the idea that the player um, should at least have a chance to get through whatever challenge you're putting in front of them. And usually the way that you do that, or in a lot of other games, you will see the idea that you start, or in this game does it as well, I guess, you start off with, like, very basic enemies, but you soon realise that if you don't block those enemies, or you don't dodge those enemies, they're going to hit you quite hard. So the game's building up, you know, it's trying to build up and build up and build up, so you, you then come across a guy with a shield, you then come across a guy with a sword and a shield, the bigger sword, bigger attacks, arches, all that sort of stuff. Now, usually... This game lets you see most of that ahead of time, right? Now, obviously, we've had things like boulders coming down the stairs, but you can kind of see it. You've always got that opportunity to see it in the environment. This particular instance with the guy behind the door, I don't know if that ever gets shown off any point. You could use the example of what I'm about to go into, that room where that guy runs away and those guys come from the side. Obviously, I know that's happening because I've already done it once, but to a new player, you know, like, you haven't really shown that. You haven't really given that indication. I guess you did at the beginning of the game where the archer shoots you and then runs off up the stairs. Maybe. You could argue that. But I just wondered, like, I, I, I always feel like you should let the player see something, even if it's not the most obvious thing. And isn't that what makes Dark Souls interesting? Because it takes traditional game design philosophy and says, nah. <laughs> nah. 
<laughs> yeah, which... And yet people love it. It's one of the most wildly popular games of all time. Which is not something any person could ever predict, including me. Anyone who's played these games who's like a hardcore gamer would go, this will never take up. Like, who the fuck? Like, <laughs> are you going to fucking take this to y your average human? And they no, most people are going to not enjoy it. So why do they keep selling, Levi? Because mo most of the time that doesn't happen. Even, and especially with Elden Ring, where you can now walk around most things. That's really interesting, because that completely changes the dynamic. You can see those enemies, you're like, I'm not ready for that challenge yet. Like, oh, oh. I still can't explain why Dark Souls picked off, because by any logic, it shouldn't be popular. Yeah. It's not... It, like, it... You know how, like, in this day and age, everyone sells out, everyone does the fucking YouTube thing, everyone does the fucking clip show, yeah. because it's, like, the only way to win, but then there's someone who just doesn't, and then they get popular anyway, and everyone who's been selling out and trying really hard is staring at this person going, why the fuck are they popular? Yeah. That's Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see your point. It shouldn't be popular. It shouldn't win! <laughs> By all logic, this game should have fucking ended with Demon Souls and everyone's just going, this is a shit game. See, that's, Never, no sequel. So that's the interesting thing, isn't it? Demon Souls. Because oh. that, that game, you know, at the time was very difficult. And I don't know how well it did. It Funny, was Demon fun. Souls was not Demon Souls originally. It was another fucking generic fantasy game that FromSoft, which was in not the company that is known to be today it was just some company it was just making it at the time and Miyazaki was just some fucking guy Yeah. and the game was turning out to be shit it was late in development it was turning out to be shit and I think the director had left Yeah. Uh, and it was basically going to be a tax write off yeah. And Miyazaki was like, I've got ideas. I've got ideas. Let, let me have a go. Let me finish the game. Yeah. And uh, they, they they were like, fine, it's going to be a tax write off anyway. Let this fucking, this fucking nerd who works in the company finish it, sure. Yeah. <laughs> he had some ideas. He was a lad. Yeah, he, ha he had some ideas. Yeah. I've not played Demon Souls, so I want to. Demon Souls watching the remake. Fucking it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I wish that from soft games looked as good as Blue Point did with Demon Souls, because holy shit the lighting and stuff in that game is, is phenomenal. Yeah, very bacacable faces. Okay, so I forget that there's a back step that I should be doing. Get some water. Yeah, no worries. Whew. What are these clowns doing? Dying like a bitch. <laughs> oh man. I hope people watching are genuinely entertained by this because, like, for me, this is like. This is kind of like being one of those things, one of those games that I just haven't touched, uh, never really wanted to touch. And, you know, I'm not going to stand here and say, like, I'm having the best time in my life. I, I really am enjoying the game, but um, I don't know if I'm one for doing it. It can be very repetitive, and I get that some people are going to love that, and that other people are, and that's okay. Oh. It's also okay that things like this exist. I think the one thing I want people to stop doing is defending like the bullshit with some of these games. Where it's like, no, these games are perfect, absolutely perfect. There's no bullshit in these games. Like, no, that's not <laughs> true. Like, it's okay to criticize things with reason. With, with reason, that one enemy where I'm like, hey, this entire time I've been playing, I think this game is fair. But that enemy, that is bullshit. 
right? That's to me is is bad design, and that's okay. Bullshit is the name of the genre. No, as I far know, as I'm like, concerned, like there's there's a level of there's a level of what I think it's kind of acceptable, and that might just be my own preferences, right? So like, I don't play many games. Like I don't have a problem with hard games. I like playing games on hard. Some games on hard. You know, I do play some hard games. I play Space Invaders Extreme. That's a hard game. Not hard in a very different way, but, um, you know, sometimes it's just more a case of, um, you know, it's okay to criticize things and still enjoy them. You know, so it's like, hey, I'm having a good time. Not gonna lie, if I wasn't having a good time, I probably would have given up by now. Uh, but. He didn't die. He didn't die, did you? Oh god. He's not a low level grunt. Yeah, I can see that. No, don't kick him! Alright, so we need to stab. Oh. Okay, so he stabs quicker than me. Oh. He definitely stabs quicker than me. Right, okay, so we know. Right, let's fight him on this bridge. Oh. Right, so what I really need to do is oh. learn his. Okay, he just legit just attacks very quick. Okay. I didn't need to go that way anyway. <laughs> I don't think that was a bomb. So on the topic of um of what you were saying, yeah, it's interesting. Um, you look at old school D and D philosophy versus the modern kind of smoothed out popular version where it's like yeah you need to telegraph things you can't just drop a gelatinous cube on the party with no warning that's bullshit whereas there are still some players there's a thing called osr revival yeah or, or just osr i think the r is the revival um where players deliberately seek out that bullshit for example yeah. tomb of horrors well what do you think might be one of the things that um, that's the appeal to them. Um, I don't want to use the word challenge because anything can be challenging. Depending on, you know who you are, what you find find challenging. Um, I th could be. I Tomb of Horrors is that the one where it's like basically Death Trap Dungeon, like it's very much. Yeah. There is a part where there's like a hole in the wall. Yeah. And because players will see a hole in the wall and they'll be like, well, I want to investigate that naturally. Yeah. Um, and if you put your arm into the hole to investigate, which is a completely natural and normal thing to want to do, um, it sucks the player's arm off and they die. Yeah, but you should know. Like, I feel like. Oh, he died. I feel like something like that. <clears throat> if you're going in knowing that like, you're playing, like, this game is looking out to kill you. So, like, yeah, I guess it's part of challenge, it's probably part of hilarity, it's probably part, um, you know, it's different, isn't it? Because you don't, most D&D campaigns are curved, generally, to be like, you start off at this level, and you work your way up, and there's like a difficulty curve that you overcome. I think Dark Souls and Gimbal have that, but it's just, you know, it does. It starts on a bit of a higher point. It's not, it's not here, it's like here, because... You realise very quickly, as in the escape with Cape Cod with these rats, they will fuck you up. <laughs> like, um, but I think it's I think it's that like randomness, that hilarity. It's just a bit different, you know. Like, which is fine. All those things are all fine. You can have all of that. I'll offer another reason, which is that um, when you're playing a game and you're trying to feel immersed in a world. Does it sometimes feel a bit disingenuous when the world is on this very smooth and neat curve where the enemies you encounter are just happenstance? They're just the right level for you to level up against and not be overwhelmed by. And you never come up against anything that's insurmountable. Whereas in games that subvert that, you're made to feel that the world does not care. Yeah. This is a real world. The game doesn't give a shit about you. The world doesn't give a shit about you. You're nothing. You're nobody. Why are you special? So, I think that is part of what 
Dark Souls. Or what the appeal is. Yeah. Yeah, the world doesn't care about you. Like, that's the whole point. That's the whole. This world, like, you're on a quest, but the world doesn't give a fuck. It's just there to try and get your way. Yeah. Um, you know, like, it's. Um, you're not the main character. No, the world is the main character. Unless you prove yourself that. You know, but you, you don't get granted that at the start of the game. You don't get that. You know, Shepard, you're a Spectre. You don't get that. Oh, you've got the mark. You're the chosen one, and therefore you get powers given to you at the start of the game. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. I love many of those games. But Dark Souls specifically goes for something uh, different. Yeah. And that's why you see those enemies. They've got Estus flasks too. They do. Shit! <laughs> Clever. That <laughs> guy's still coming, I love it. Okay, he's turning around. Really. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, we need to just be patient. No need to rush. No need to panic. Probably a good time to do this. Like I said, like earlier, you've got to be prepared for the repetition of, and learning of these games, right? And I think that's that I can see why some people would be turned off by that. Like, if I don't get past this point, because I'm bashing my head and it's just, like, skill-wise, I can't do it, then, you know, fair enough. Like, that's okay. You, you're allowed to, like, stop. You know, you tried, you realised, yeah, it's maybe a, a bit beyond me. That's okay. definitely a particular kind of appeal and I understand for example people that work like really hard and they are exhausted by their jobs at the end of the day and don't have that much energy to put into a game or like for them games are a way to unwind primarily I can understand that they would hate this game and I, I definitely don't think Dark Souls is for everyone and I actually try to like if someone's, for, this was a thing when Elden Ring came out, and it's like people talking about wanting to drop money on this game. And I, I respect my friends, which is why I'm like, if I don't think they're going to enjoy it, if they didn't like Dark Souls, yeah, I'm like, you know, if 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 they're fucking rich, <laughs> yeah, then then that's one thing. It's like, yeah, you're not going to lose much by dropping money if you don't like it. Oh. But there are other friends where I'm like. I like just just know what you're getting into. Yeah, yeah, cool. Like this is why. If you've saying. only got like one game you can buy every month, uh, maybe try Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. This is why I was saying to you, like, it's really important with games that like this that have got a reputation to um, when you watch reviews. Don't just watch the people that like the game. Watch the people that don't like the game. Are that you know, is something like Elden Ring going to turn them into a fan? You know, it's really important to have all the information and not just some of it, because you know, something like let's take yeah. Mario, something like a Mario, family fun friendly, right? Doesn't matter what age you are, you, it might not be for you, but you can pick it up and you can probably play most of the game and be all right. Something like Elden Ring, something like this, it is for a specific audience, right? Make sure you do your research. Like, what? Look at people that are notorious for not liking these games. A new one comes out. What do they think? Are they suddenly into it because of X, Y, and Z mechanic? Maybe that will do enough for you as a player. Like Elden Ring, for example. Like I said earlier, you can walk around a lot of the enemies. You can see all the shit from so far away. You can pick and choose when to engage a lot of that. Unlike the Dark Souls games, which are quite linear in like you know I'm walking through an area like this is the way to go. Now, if you're like, oh, I want to. You know, I struggle with certain enemies. I can ignore that, go away and fight other stuff and level up. And you can run in basically any direction, which is, you know, also appealing. So, you know, it's yeah. interesting. In, in the same way as, as, like, you know, read all the reviews, read the negative and the positive. I think the, the people who are s saying, as a result of their opinions, that Dark Souls or Elden Ring is, is a bad game... I think they also 
haven't really taken the time to understand it. They might not like the game, but saying it's bad because it has the wrong design philosophies is also wrong in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, going, well, I don't like puzzle games, but everyone says this Tetris game is really good. I think it's shit. This is a shit game. It's clearly bad. Why would anyone enjoy this? Well, that's, you know. Yeah. Dark Souls does not lie about what it is. No, <laughs> it's I think it's hard to have hard to have missed the publicity at this point. If you don't know what you're in for when you come to Dark Souls, I mean, I I, I do think you don't fully get it until you've played it. But if you come in going, well, this is bullshit, or like this is a hard game, I hate this. Well, then you're dumb, <laughs> or you don't pay attention. Yeah. I know that for full well that I have caused many an argument with either yourself or with Fruity uh, about this genre and this game. Like, I have strong opinions on it. Um, you know, and, and I would say some of that's potentially changed playing this. But, you know, am I, am I going to be... Do I have it in me right now to finish this game? I don't know. Having seen a lot of the game, there are boss fights in this that are very difficult and do require a lot of the time. Basically, do I want to put that time in? Really? That's what it comes down to. Um, right. I, is that a bonfire in front of this guy? I can't tell. I don't think it is. Mm, I don't think I spawned right so early. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay, so. I've got that many souls. I am going to try and do something really dumb. And I'm going to peg it through this next area to try and get figure out where the bloody hell I'm going. So I know there's an enemy to my left, uh, right. So we're gonna go this way. And there's also another enemy. Oh. Not gonna let me through, is he? No, 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 we're good, we're good. Found a bridge. Where's that stamina? Yeah. We know there's a guy following me. That's okay, I'm gonna... Oh. Die? Oh. Which was there's a bonfire over there. I fucking know it. <laughs> Okay, cool. But which way, right or left? Uh, uh, right. Because <laughs> that pathway, there's a pathway that leads up to the front door of that place. Because the top of that building is where the gargoyles is. I know that much. Uh... So, I know, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure that's where the bonfire is. Anyway. See, this, Man. This, this, this element of what I am doing right now, I completely get this turns off a lot of people. Right, because it is a long way to run. Right, it's a long way to run for the next bonfire. Which they again, as I was saying to you, they changed it in the second and third game, so there were more after bosses and stuff, which I think was a smart move. You know, um, this particular section that I'm on now, like this and the rats, and that bit of stairs. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but it's only. It's a lot to put so early in a video game. Yeah, it is a lot to deal with. Right. And I can, the problem is, when you die over and over and over again, most people start to rush, and it gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse. And that's oh. the thing, you can't, you can't be doing that. This guy is just... This is what's what, making me waste most of my time. And he's stabbing me in the leg. See you later, pal. When I first got Dark Souls, when it first came out, I had it on Xbox 360. Yeah. I got to... Um, probably right before the gargoyles and that's where i said i don't think this game is for me yeah and i took it back or i traded it in um but i was just like i'm gonna get the money for this while it's still new yeah so when did you pick it up again i assume it was on pc it was when bloodborne came out right and i watched someone playing through bloodborne um, or it was, I watched him playing through Dark Souls. I, I, I can't remember if it was Bloodborne or Dark Souls 2 that I watched first. But it was Bloodborne that made me think, I gotta have this game. Like, this game looks fucking amazing and maybe I need to give the genre another try. Yeah. But Bloodborne was a PS4 exclusive and I didn't have a PS4. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try Dark Souls again. Yeah. I'm gonna give it another shot. 
And that was years later, and that's when it clicked. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. The thing is, I get the appeal, right? I, that side of it, I get. That was a weird attack. I didn't do that. So I get the appeal of it. It's just there is a lot. You you have to put up with a lot. I think and there is that wall. That wall does yeah. exist. Uh, one thing I would like people to stop saying though is souls. Uh, not souls like it's like hard like Dark Souls. You know, it's like stop saying games like games have always been hard in different ways. Like Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins. Those games are brutal. <laughs> I was <laughs> just about to say, if, if you really want to fucking play a hard game, how many of you motherfuckers played NES games? Like, any NES game yeah. that's not the Kirby... Because <laughs> oh, I, I watched the Sakurai God. video about <gasps> Kirby the other day. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember what the first one was called. Kirby in Dreamland. Yeah. Wow, I don't hear a lot of this I last think one. you can... Um, I, I, I can't remember if it's not in this game. I think you can double sip Estus Flasks. Yeah. So you double tap it and then you just get two chugs, which is faster than stop and chug again. Yeah. I, you can definitely do it in every other Dark Souls game. I think it's in this game, but it might not be. But yeah, maybe try next time you need it. Because right now you're at the point where if you sip, you're not wasting any health. Yeah. Last take one anyway. Good. Yeah, see, like it, you might as well sip at that point. I think once you're like half and lower, so I'm, I, I feel like I'm I'm so close. I just need to get past those enemies. They're like <clears throat> the reason why I'm not running through a lot of this is because I don't want to take excess damage if I can avoid it. Because I know I can do this bit. Like this guy's a bit of a pain in the ass, but this is the easiest. That's way part of the um, the gameplay of Dark Souls. It's kind of a unique thing. Is that like it's a, it's almost a rogue like thing of like. Optimization, because you repeat the same path a number of times, and it gets down to like a process of like efficiency. It's like the finding the best path, finding it like okay, this is how I kill this enemy without taking any damage. I bait him towards me, blah blah blah, and you you get to that point until you finally get there, and it's quite satisfying in that repetition. Look at this clown. But it, it can also be very frustrating. Hey, Shredder. Hello. You've been, I hope you've heard most of our conversation about this. It's been an interesting discussion about the game. Yeah, it's definitely like that roguelike element to it. It's like that learning. I missed him. Oh. And also, lock on. Because that's really how you should do it. <laughs> He's healing. Get him. Says lock on, oh. the exact opposite. Well, how the fuck are you not dead? Oh dear. I think I'm seeing instances. I don't know if you want this tip, but I am seeing instances where you might be better off with a heavy attack. Yeah. Especially, you've probably noticed when you're out of stamina, um, you you can like use a little sliver to use a whole attack. Those are sometimes like if they're drinking, especially. Yeah. You know, a slam a heavy attack into that bad boy. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I can't see. Oh. All right. It's a bad spot. But you passed it. Yeah. So I was about to say that's a bit bullshit, <laughs> but <laughs> I think that's more the size of the enemy and the area. We're going to use all these. Right, so this, this actual section, yeah. this section, I don't find that bad because these enemies will die in one stab. So as long as you're sensible, and you hop backwards and line them up. You just stab. No problem. Um, I'm, yeah, I typically could use a better weapon. And the stab. So another weird thing about oh. Dark Souls is that often the starting weapons are just as good as the final ones. Yeah. You can't level weapons up in this game. You can, yes, that's a major part of it. 
Uh, leveling up your weapons, I discovered, because I saved up all my titanite shards. Another tally list of terrible things Greg did when playing Dark Souls for the first time, not knowing what the fuck he was doing. Right, so I um, those. <laughs> you can pump stats for days, yeah. but a single weapon upgrade does way more to your damage. Yeah, see, now you're using that heavy. Yeah. Yeah, no Estus Flash on this. So, do I try to... This is the problem. I know that I... Hmm. I don't know if I can fight those guys in that corridor, but I know I have to take at least one hit to get past him, or maybe I don't, but... Um, I'm trying to think. There's no other way to go, because I don't feel like I can do it. I'll tell you what, if I die, if I've got any... Can you... Do that stuff with a bonfire, or do you have to find a blacksmith to upgrade your weapon? You have to find a blacksmith. Oh, shit. Okay. Mm. Okay, it makes this it makes this area really difficult because of the um the amount of corridors there are. Like, there's a guy here on the left. I could probably deal with him. I don't think he's gonna move though. I would say try going through patiently. So and just, yeah. Okay, let's let's trigger this dude because this is clearly because these are enemies you're gonna have to learn at some point. Yeah. These harder ones, it's just unfortunate that they introduce this enemy to you halfway through a run, so you can't sort of practice it safely. If you want to come and practice it, you have to get to this point. Yeah. It's uh. Oh, that's not the same dude. Alright, that's a spear guy. Okay, so I completely misunderstood what this dude is. Come on then. Alright, I can probably handle this guy in here. Assuming this guy doesn't decide to get involved. I mean, I have got other items. I could use the firebombs on him. Right? Like, I'm, I'm probably, yeah. you know, I'm just going to sit on that stuff all day. Let's, uh... Classic RPG logic. Yeah. I've gotten better about that, where it's like, yeah, I should use these marginally better. Yeah. Okay. What happens when we go around to the right? That's the question. Nothing. Nope. Yeah. Oh, my souls. <laughs> oh dear. Gambling. Fuck you now. <laughs> okay. No. Oh. Don't know. I need some information. Um. I don't know if I should have helped you there. That's all right. I didn't expect that guy to follow me as far as he did. I, I I don't know. Did you see the stairs going down? What, in that room? Yeah. No. To me, it was just a oh. circle room. Oh. Fuck. Right. You're going to do it this time. So, yeah. I, I didn't expect that guy to come as far as he did. I thought his leash range would have been shorter. Assuming if there is a bonfire there, I definitely thought it would have been shorter. Um, and, yeah, learning that, you know what, trying to roll through things doesn't actually work. Depends. Um, if they're attacking, yeah, that's a good time to roll past. Yeah. Yeah, but when you can't see behind you and you know there's an enemy there, like, that's a risk. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about if like you're looking at them and they're blocking your path. Yeah. If they're just standing stoic, then yeah, they're gonna block you. But if they're swinging, they're you know, it's in it's easier to roll past them during that moment. It's almost like I, I don't know. This is just a pure feeling. It's almost like their hitboxes become smaller when they're swinging. Yeah, you can probably roll their, under their arms and stuff. Their collision box, I should say. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Or it's like their momentum of their swing carries them past you. So if you roll forward in that moment, then you kind of slip past them. Yeah. Now I could have, to be fair, I could have just if I just circle around that dude, I probably could have kept hitting him. But um, I don't know. I feel like having information is probably more important than souls at the moment. Like I need. Oh god. Oof. You're definitely like getting better and getting further and further each time. Hmm. Let's let's talk about the camera a minute because I have had a few times where it has decided because I know when you write when I click in the right stick that's obviously hey how you do do with this. Um, definitely, definitely has a mind of its own sometimes. There are times when it sort of, you know, you've got your back to a wall and the camera is just like, I can't deal with this. I'm not yeah. probably equipped for this situation. I feel like something that probably got ironed out in the later games. And that's kind of the thing. I kind of know that a lot of this stuff probably got improved in the later games. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Somebody. I would say this is the worst iteration of the camera. Yeah, sure. Oh, God. See, this is the point, right? By I'm, far. At, I'm at that point where I'm like, I just want to run through here. But I know if I do that, I'm going to die. Because that warthog thing, that, like, charging thing, kind of locks onto you when you do that. And it's uh, quite hard to deal with and avoid. So, we'll, uh, we'll do what we're doing best. This, this strategy's working. Oh, It's kind of like, like that's a thing you can do, but you would then have to learn how to do that. Yeah. And you've learned it this way. So it's like, you know, you might die in the learning attempt. Yeah, of course. See, I want this guy to come forward, because I feel like the best thing I can do is just circle around him. See? There are often sort of bonfire runs in this game where I'm like, I, I sort of sort of get almost there and I can, I know where the bonfire is or I can see it and I'm like, I get to a certain point where it's like, this is a situation where I've decided I'm going to learn how to just run through because there are too many enemies and they're too annoying yeah. and fuck this area. Yeah, I, that's it. I know I'm close to my goal. So I know I'm close. I know I'm close to my goal of getting to the gargoyles because it's in that area. I know it's in that building to the left where I was. But yeah. getting to them is a different story. But like, you know. The thing is with running is that it's very often related to how open the area is. So this oh. little area that you're in right now, I could quite easily just run through. Yeah. But then once you get up to the narrow corridors, trying to run through is a little more tricky. Yeah, because you need, you need to know where the enemies spawn. Like, like, I can probably run through that area, but I'm going to take hits. It's okay. a case of, like, if you want to run through that area, you have to be able to slip past the enemies because they will just block the entire corridor. Yeah. These fucking guys, like, what? Or with these guys, you can just fucking run around if you yeah. want. You know what yeah, I know I could probably avoid these, but I know that guy that guy keeps running up here. Yeah, I do think some of the some of them would follow you into the tunnel, I think. Probably not these crossbow guys. Yeah, I don't mind these guys because they just hit you and then you just. Oh, 
Oh, what? Oh, miss. <laughs> yeah. If like, you lock on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I lock on, it's easy. Just do that. And then follow up with it. Oh, oh the, the trade. The trade was that real. Now he wants to come with me. Look at him. No, go away. No, go away. I hate that thing. Steady. Wins the race. Line them up. One more. It's weird that they give you this room full of these enemies after all the other stuff. It's like, have a breather. <laughs> Yeah. It's just a, it's just odd. But I get you know, there's a lot of so you could you you could really give me a breather game and you know, maybe a bonfire? No, not that far. Yeah. Let's not go that far. <laughs> you just Okay. So some of the bonfire lengths in this first game are ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I mean, it's like I'm not cared about my souls so much because I've got so much shit to get through that it's kind of pointless getting all like oh my souls yeah there are some there are a couple really bad spots in Bloodborne as well um, but I legitimately think this game is the worst for bonfire distances yeah Elden Ring has been like weirdly different in that regard for me. I'm like, there's been, I, I think maybe this is a deliberate design choice. The game's very open anyway. Yeah. But I've never felt in Elden Ring that like, I had to struggle to like, to go through a long period to get to the next bonfire. Just not at all. I'm just like, huh? Another bonfire already? Really? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, for sure. Come out wherever you are. But, you know, Elden Ring then compensates by making some of the hardest bosses in the entire series. A lot of the Dark Souls bosses, like Dark Souls 1, are so easy to choose. Yeah. Hey. Shield. See if that's any good. Ah, da da da. Is. Oh, that's fat roll. Ooh, maybe I don't want that. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of, kind of like not fat rolling. Oops. Yeah, I would never advise heavy load, honestly, unless you're going for a, a build where you don't expect to need to roll. There are some just like big okay. fat dude builds, but uh, not for me at all. It's, it's a very niche specialized build. Again, another thing I didn't really know when I first played the game, because it didn't really explain equip load. Yeah. That's not something I'll defend about the game. Not explaining the sort of poor mechanics like equip load. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe I'm a dumbass, but I didn't see it <laughs> anywhere on this playthrough. Yeah. Maybe, I guess this is kind of an era where instruction manuals are still a thing. Yeah. Okay, so the direction I went last time was the correct direction for a bonfire then. All right, can I get these guys to come up here? Don't start shooting me with a bow and arrow, you fucker. Nah. Oh. 
gonna heal again or are we yeah, this is a mistake but that's okay yeah you've you've gone a lot better at judging the distance on that heavy it's got a very long range and if like if they want to close to you you're gonna win that trade with the heavy yeah all right i'm brief Ooh. Oof. Hero. Right. Oh. The pain. The pain when I saw you loop around and you went behind the altar and they penned you in. I was like, no, why are you going there? What are you doing? <laughs> so, You're so close. So I could probably see you. You were there. You. Oh, right. You were there. <laughs> so I probably would have seen if I was on my TV. Unfortunately, playing this through my hands, it generally is just a bit darker. But that's okay. Let's rest in the bomb. <laughs> Let's level up. Um, Alright, I don't feel like I'm doing next to very much damage. So it's either damage or in uh, endurance. I will tell you a tip right now before you yep. level up. Yep. Um, is that leveling up your weapon does cost souls. Okay, so I should talk to the guy now then. And you're saying Perhaps, leveling yeah. up the weapon is a better increase in damage than something like strength or dexterity. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Immediately noticeable. Right, okay. Nope. <laughs> Not that way. I was like, where's the sound? I was like, ah, here we go. Yeah. I could just kill him. Well, <laughs> great idea. I'm Andre of a store run. Hello, chum! And speak to me. Uh, is it reinforced or modified? Yeah, reinforced weapon. I mean, you might want to check other things out, but. Oh my god, I've got a bite light. Okay, let's. Hang on. What, where's the cost of this? Requires soul 200. Okay. It's not a crazy cost, but uh, you know, it would suck if you spent all your souls on level ups and then it's like, oh, I only need like 400 more. God damn it. Then you have to go out and farm. Though okay. no, you still got your item souls. Yeah. Why do you sound like you're at a trapdoor? So that's how you essentially make it maybe a flame sword or a poison sword. Okay, so we've done the. We've done that. I actually still. I needed those shards. Did you I, modify it? I think so. Is it a plus one or a plus two now? Uh, plus two. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just missed you. I don't that. think I have any shards. I think I used both my shards for that. Yeah, you only get to. Yeah, I think so. But that's a huge increase already. Right, okay, so now we should definitely. Um, I'm thinking in, I'm thinking stamina right now. I'm thinking stamina, but I don't know. How much longer are you planning on playing tonight? I'm, I'm gonna attempt. Take a break soon. I am going to attempt, probably only for about another half an hour, to be honest. I'm going to okay. attempt to get into that building, into the gargoyles. That's what I want to do. But if I don't do that, I don't. You know, I'm, I'm going to have a couple more attempts at it, and that's it. So, yeah, 20 minutes, something like that, basically. Because, um, unfortunately, I do have to work tomorrow, so I can't be up all night. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's go with endurance. Push that up a couple. Um, Hoping now with the sword being a bit stronger. And, uh, this is a completely different area, isn't it? That is Sen's Fortress, I think. Which I don't think is where I need to go. I think he's up here. Oh, 
wouldn't mind trying out. I mean, who decides who decides where you really need to go? No, I need to, I in need the to get, world. I need to get out there. The gargoyles. <laughs> the gargoyles. They do nothing. Oh my God! Someone's already shooting at me. This was probably a bad idea. I mean, commit. Yeah. If you've run in already, commit. Um, down really wasn't where I was thinking of going. Oh, that would have been nice. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Shortcut unlocked. Okay, so now we're back on fire. And the vitals. So this is, do you know what's really interesting about this game is how much the Super Metroid effect, like, is oh, on yeah. this game? Because everything basically connects to the filing shrine. There's so many different entrances and exits to that area. It's really interesting to me. I'd love to, like, zoom out the map yeah. and look at it from above. I've talked a lot about that. And how Dark Souls, like, for me, the best part about the game is the world. Yeah. And it's, like... I mean that in a few ways, because when you say the world, you're like, well, what do you mean? You mean, like, the, the lore? Or do you mean the map? And I mostly mean the map. Yeah. But the map is... Ah, hello. <laughs> the oh, map is not friend. in isolation. It's not in a vacuum. Yeah. The map is really... The, the world feels like a real world. And that's... It's incredible on many levels. This guy swings both vertically and horizontally, meaning that this depending on the fucks. attack... Is this one of these guys that doesn't Good, th <laughs> Good thing you upgraded that sword. Well, yeah. if you plan on fighting him. Nah, fuck off. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can't come up here, you fat bastard. Oh, well. Commit. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so close. I know where I was going. All right, cool. So, oh, do I need... you said you only knew the starting area. I know. What's the... this? I that sends fortress that way, and I know there's a bonfire <laughs> so, here. I said I'd seen a lot of Dave playing it, and areas of it. I know that. The only reason I recognise that strip for Sense Fortress is because I remember the the, the the traps and shit. But well, that's it. Like in that area, then the only reason I know you go that way is because there's a couple of stairs up to the. You're cancelled, Levi. <laughs> I, I, you, hey, like, you made a false claim. No. About your pl nah. Nah, I said I'd cancelled. Never played. The You'll game. never stream again. Not on my so watch. I, there were element parts of the game that I didn't know where I was going. And let's be fair, there was a bonfire there and I ran around the altar and didn't even see the stairs. So I'm not not really bullshitting. I just there's just elements of it, man. I put, <laughs> put it this way. Apart from the gargoyle bit, like yes I know that sense fortress, but that area that I went to at the beginning of the game, that lost whatever it's called, or the lower area, fucking no clue. No, I, I don't even remember seeing it. Oh yeah, I, I can tell from most of this you don't know what like where you're going. Oh no, I know nothing. I know nothing. There is a strong argument that um, one of the social, meta social elements of the Dark Souls playing ah. is that old school, you know, Nez Zelda thing of like. Oh, if you bomb here, there's a thing here, and like shit that you would never fucking discover by yourself. Oh, you fucker! I, I'm kind of a purist when I play games, in that I, I try to avoid as much of that as possible. Yeah. I try to play play with the hints off, generate like the the ground signs off in yeah. Elden Ring, because I find it a bit too much in the just people telling you where shit is, but. There is no right way to play these games, and if you like to play with all the guides, as Dave does, or if you ah, like to play somewhere in between with the signs on, or... Yeah. 
hear overhearing bits and pieces and what's so you know those are all part of the game yeah all right buddy and uh when i first like i said i watched an entire playthrough of bloodborne uh before playing through it and it made the game a little more relaxing and it didn't really help that much yeah so we've got a double swing Fighting. He's fighting this guy. Oh, I keep forgetting about the back step. Boss. The back step's like. Go for the double? No, he's going for the single. Single. I would advise. Like, are you going to try to block this guy at all? Because if not, two hand that bitch. Might as well. I'm just I'm just seeing what triggers his attacks at the moment. Fair enough. Uh, so he's got a double. Okay, that's the first time I've seen that. Got a double one of those. I can, I, I'll be honest, and this might just be because of the screen size, I can't tell how much that health bar went down. Um, I don't know if it was a lot, a little, or anything. I really... It's, it's actually, pretty blurry on my screen, too, because yeah. of, of Discord. Um, it went down a little bit. Yeah, so I'm... Uh, those people don't know, I'm colorblind. So I actually struggle when red is over like certain colors. Um, I don't know if I can change it. Probably not. Um, but it's just a bit unfortunate. I wish that I actually kind of wish the health bars were yellow or something. I find it a lot easier to see what I'm doing. Um, but you know, that's a that's a me problem. Some people would argue that when you remaster a game, you should probably consider updating things like. <laughs> accessibility options and yes. maybe improving some small elements tell that to game developers yeah i do think like colorblind modes especially in the last year doom and doom eternal have fucking fantastic colorblind modes i love what they do for those games they're so cool because they basically go you want to have the hud one color and the game look a different color it's actually kind of fun i think it's i think it's fucking egregious how many times they've released a quote-unquote remastered or updated version of Dark Souls. Because when I bought, like, Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition was yeah. the first re-release. And then Dark Souls Remastered is the second. Yeah. Neither have fucking touched the game at all, really. Yeah, this is just visual. And it's like, ability. it's like, fucking... Do something if you're gonna call it a remaster. Do something. Yeah. Okay, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try Free parrying money. this guy. This might be a really bad idea. Or you can just get stuck on that. That's fine. Oh no. Okay, so I hit. I did shield it. But... I think some of the damage is going through your shield. Yeah. Okay. Which is why I'm like, maybe just. You know, to take my advice, but no, maybe he's... just two hand because yeah, you no. you don't really want to get hit by this this guy at all, even through the shield. No, that's fair. And that's probably what I will do in a minute. I'm just curious. That is a lesson that took me a while to learn because mostly I never fucking used that feature at all yeah. unless I was trying to be Conan and use a great sword. But uh, once you get into the habit of using it, it took me several games to get into that habit. It's like, oh yeah. This is not an enemy I'm going to be shielding. Why not just use that one feature of the game that I forgot exists? Yeah, definitely. Come on then. I reckon he goes for double. No, he went for the single. Double? I would also drink an Estus if you can find an opening, because you can easily get two shot. Oh, nice. I didn't realize how low on health he was. I couldn't yeah, see that I, health Yeah, I couldn't either. see it, and I was like, I think that's very little. Um, oh, nice. Upgrade the sword again. Yeah. Um, so, so enemies that drop that, is that an enemy that comes back? Or is that one of the ones that, like, once you kill I them? I can't remember. I, you definitely don't get a second Titan, actually. I, I feel like he comes back, but he only drops the shard once. Yeah. I might be wrong. He might just be dead for good. Yeah, I know there are, I think the Black Knights are the ones that they do. They kind of like the few enemies that don't come back. Okay. Maybe he is dead for good. We can go in here now. Now, if I play it sensibly, I might actually be... Oh, hello. Firekeeper Soul. 
Ooh. I might be able to get at least near the door. Let's have a look around. Where's the stairs? You know what? I, I, I'm actually, if nothing else, I feel like I've accomplished way more than I thought I was tonight playing this. I'm thoroughly impressed by your progress. Me, me too. Like, you definitely, definitely have what it takes to finish the game if you want to. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah as, as other people have mentioned, Dark Souls isn't, like, as hard as its reputation. Is that, it's, like, it's not this impossible. It's not fucking, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. Yeah, well, yeah, nothing's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. <laughs> like, it's not like any NES game, honestly. Any fucking NES game is harder than Dark Souls. Uh, you uh, unless you're talking about Kirby's Dreamland. You might be able to answer this question, actually, Greg. There's somebody in the chat from Samuel saying that this game looks slower than 3. It probably is slower than Dark Souls 3. Um, oh, yeah, it is. It, it's definitely slower than 3. Um, and I imagine that's just because, again, by the third game, they've had time to improve. Things got better. You know? I, I, you know, I can't speak to it. I would assume that the third game is probably a better place to start than this one, but what the fuck? You've said that a few times, and you you know my opinion, which yeah, is that yeah. I actually think Dark Souls is a solid game to start with, and I don't mind the speed of one at all. Yeah. It's definitely the slowest of all the games. Yeah, this guy looks quite I, I like Dark Souls 1 a lot. Yeah. I think that's fine. Like, I think that's, that's gentle. Okay. Yeah, that's the, the other games... I feel like the, the move towards action almost sacrifices some of that, like, what am I looking for? Like, the core philosophy of it's not about being an action game, you know? Yeah. Whereas the other one the game's like, okay, let's just make it more fun to play. It's like, yeah, yeah okay, fair enough. Fun. <laughs> but it, it's almost like an old school RPG, like a... Like a D and D or a turn-based RPG, because it plays very slow and it's more deliberate and more thinky. Yeah. Whereas Dark Souls Three is more about your input skill. Like you would, you would fare very well in Dark Souls. This guy resurrecting shit. I feel like he's resurrecting stuff. Might not or be. Maybe there's just a lot of chaff in that room. Chaff. That's an interesting way of describing it. Isn't it? So this is like a magic They're not dude. people anymore, Levi. They never were, honestly. They're just scum nothing, much like you. Oh, cool. In this world. Resurrecting people. You should stop that. Right, I have Take no SS left. Take his hat. And his robe. <laughs> Become him. Yeah. I want to wear another man's skin. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. All right. <laughs> let's do this. Let's get. Let's do what I said. I set out to do my own personal goal. I don't know how far. Ooh. How much further I gotta go? I know this is the right direction. And that's about it. I think you're at no deaths. Any percentage speed run is going really well. <laughs> Oh my god, I fucking... I cannot believe... Any deaths up to this point don't count. It's just like a beginner. I have no Estus Flask. Right, I don't even give a shit if I die. I don't care if I lose yourselves. I can't believe I got here tonight. This is like legit what I wanted to do. The, the watchtower is there. There's no boss. There's no boss it's here. Just, uh, yeah. right. It's just right. statues, bro. Yeah, it's cool. This is apparently the, the boss, isn't it? This is the one. If you can do this, you can fuck finish the game. I'm not expecting it to play, you know. Straight up now, I'm probably gonna die really quickly. And that's fine. And if I do die really quickly, I'll probably end it there. Because I've actually got here in three and a half hours. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. And yes, I know what the gimmick for this boss fight is. Yeah. 
Yes, you have one. No, not really. Not really. Oh, 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 shit, I pushed the wrong way. Fair enough, right? Yeah. I know that. Looked in with half a health bar and no esters. Yeah, I know that if I just go, if I've got souls and upgrade my weapon a bit more, like that'll make that my life easier. But you know what? I think I'm going to call it there because, quite frankly, I didn't think I was going to get there. That was my goal was to get to the gargoyles, and uh, we did. We did it. <laughs> it died very very quickly on that boss, but I don't think it's too bad. I only saw two attacks. Now I know that when the other gargoyle turns up, it's going to be a bit of a a bit more tricky to deal with but cool so that's the question now that you're at the end of this first session do you think you will continue playing dark souls do you know what if i'm brutally honest with you i don't know because like um i generally don't know if i want to I don't know, like, there's, there's, I would happily do the gargoyles and be fine with it. There's parts of this game that I'm not looking forward to. Blight Town, stuff like that. Um, obviously, you know, like, something... Well, yeah, that, that was the only question. Will you continue, not will you continue all the way to the end? I, I don't know. I generally don't know. Like, I, I will say this right now. I have had a lot of fun. I'm not going to deny that. I have had a lot of fun playing the game. Uh, but will I continue playing? You, you can hollow out at any point. You can be like... I've killed the dark, the the gargoyles, and now I'm just gonna go hollow. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I need to go and think about it because I've I've had fun. Let's not let's not take that away. Like I genuinely have had fun playing this, but do I wanna do I wanna keep back because that that area before I got to that up second bonfire, the one I'm at now, I was starting to get to the point where I was like, I'm kind of getting sick of doing this stuff and yes i was making progress you know i was taking my time of it but that that part of it, it that's the bit that's maybe killing my enjoyment a little bit like the fighting the bosses and stuff like that i'd be okay with that i don't mind dying to those i completely understand that you got to learn that stuff but and even fighting that black knight with the mace like i figured it out i was like right i know how to do this but that that running back from such long distances that's the bit that was like, oh god, this is, you know, the tenth time yeah. this is it's starting to be great on me a little bit, um, because, you know, I want to see more of the game, but if I'm gonna hit that every time I hit between bonfires, yeah, that's that might be the killer. That might be the killer for me. So I need to think on it, but there is a chance that I will come back and, and at least try to get further in the game. So, but um. You know, thank you, thank you very much for like essentially being here with me, and to, uh, I've had a, a blast chatting to you about this. This has been very civil. Yeah. it's been a very civil I, conversation. I think, <laughs> I think having played this far, you can definitely speak with more authority on the game. Yeah, yeah, I and, think... and sort of know what you're talking about better <laughs> with the experience. I think you understand a lot. Now. You've you've learned a lot through just this one session. Yeah, for sure. Like. I don't think, even though I'm enjoying this, I don't think this makes me a fan. Like, I wouldn't say I'm like, I'm going to suddenly go and play Dark Souls 2, 3, Bloodborne, like that. Like, I can appreciate, and I have always appreciated these games. Um, I can appreciate them more now, and I can see there's bits of it. I'm like, I get it. But, you know, like I said earlier, there's still bullshit, and these games aren't perfect, right? And that's fine, right? And I'm not gonna, I'm not going to change my tune on those minor little things. That's okay. Um, but... Yeah, it'll be interesting going away and spending tomorrow thinking about this and really kind of digesting, like, the whole process, you know? And I think that's going to be kind of interesting for me, you know? But, um, yeah, like I said, thank you for joining me with this. This has been been really fun. and uh, it's It's been a lot of fun. I, I was like, yeah, I'll probably, like, maybe I'll just, like, watch on screen and play a game. But I've been engaged the whole way through. Yeah. And that's cool. Like, I feel like that's good. I'm glad that you weren't getting sick of me dying. I think you were kind of... 
I, I feel like I've impressed I, you I unintentionally. Chanced. Yeah, I feel like I impressed you unintentionally. I mean, I went about an hour without dying in that first area, so yeah. I, I'm impressed. But, um, you know, like, and then it, then it starts to rack up, and I'm like, okay. You know, it, had, it could only last yeah. so long. <laughs> but, um, yeah, do you want to just give a little shout out where people can find you? I know you're not doing as much YouTube stuff now, but... You know, uh, yeah. I, I, I still plan to do something at some point. The, the channel's been dead for a couple months, but that just means when I come back, it'll be super dramatic. For those of you who, who want to check out my channel, it is Egregious Games on YouTube, uh, which is a word that nobody can spell. <laughs> I need to I need to edit the information on this. Um, I probably won't do it tonight, but I will, <laughs> I, I will add your... It just To find my channel, just search for what's the name of that one video that people really like. Um, Nintendo has its own Doom Slayer. Yeah, that's the one. The Doom one. It's the one that's like, <laughs> like crazy viewership. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Right. So a big, big shout out to not only you, Greg, but everybody who's been watching uh, and chatting and stuff. Massive props. I genuinely was expecting a lot more backseat gaming from the chat, which would have been absolutely fine because I, I felt like I sucked at points. But um, yeah, if you, you know, you want to see more stuff like this, there is the potential that I might carry on streaming um, and do this. But I don't think I'm going to stream the entire game. Like, I might have one more session uh, if people are interested in that. But other than that, yeah, that'll probably if be If this it. video gets 10 likes, Levi will play through the entire game. Thanks. That's, that's, not, that's his words, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, if you decided to stream one of these games or something, I'd probably watch it. Because I think it'd be really interesting seeing somebody who's got way more experience than I playing from something like this uh, whether it's this game or any of the others you know I'm well, about doing a bit more streaming lately but for me it's like just for fun i don't yeah. know if i can commit when i get my fucking adhd medication then i'll, I'll just be like fuck it i'll play through 40 hours in the weekend yeah yeah <laughs> all right well i'm gonna end it here guys thank you for everyone for dropping in thanks to greg um if you want to catch uh, now i can do scheduled streams i will probably do that more often and as for like videos and stuff videos coming this week um so look forward to all that stuff and uh thank you for joining me and i will see everybody next time